Welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. Hey, hello. Hi guys. Hi guys. <laughs> What's up? Welcome. Pro Jacko player Dugert, you know it. I beat Octo first try, so. Also, the title of the stream today, Cats on Rollerblades, is because um, it's a they're actually roller skates, but I got a shirt that is entirely Cats on Roller Skates. <laughs> so, as an homage to my, my new terrible shirt, uh, that's the title of the stream today. <laughs> I went in to tell something to Sam, and Sam was like, you look really nice today. I was like, oh, thank you. And he was like, why do you look really nice today? <laughs> and I was like, well, I didn't really sleep, so I'm trying to mask it by going above and beyond with my Luke today. And he was like, okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> Something's weird about the, oh. This is the one thing about, about this cup this Dodger coffee co cup. So I, there's so much, there's, it's so divisive. When you have a mug, do you want the design to face you or to face out? And all, but like, if you're left-handed, it would be the opposite anyway. Does it matter? Is there like a, a consistent, if it was on both sides, it would eliminate it. Though It would eliminate the problem, you know? Both sides, the only option. Yes. Um. Next iteration, both sides. Don't. I'll write. I'll write it down. <laughs> I don't think this mug. I don't think sells super well, especially in comparison to the like chunkus boy one. Um. So I think I think these are still the first ones that we've ever made of this mug. Uh. So if ever we sell all of them. <laughs> And do a round two. I'll be like, by the way, really need that design on both sides of the mug. Just FYI. I have an original Dodger Coffee Co. t-shirt, the one from CoxCon by Game T. Yes! I don't know where mine is. My my Game T one. I don't know where it wound up. What is that on the door frame? This? Uh, resistance bands for working out. Go psycho mode, put the design on the base. I really want to do one of those mugs that has like writing on the inside, on like the bottom. We're actually working at, oh, is this a secret? Oh, I'm gonna say it anyway. We're actually working on a new mug right now. Um, so I'll, I'll keep, I'll, I'm gonna keep the writing on the inside idea to myself for now because we're already working on a totally different thing, but the thing on the floor. Oh, this? What does it look like? Out of curiosity, what do you think that is? <laughs> Don't worry, I'll go grab it in a second. I just wanna know what you guys think it looks like. It's a little fox. <laughs> um, Sherlock carries this all over the house, so. It says awkward fox on it. Hi, Watson. Did you have a good nap? Yeah. It's a tiny version of Big Boy. It's very cute. Watson. Hi, you okay? Cool. Can you get LEDs on the coffee cups? 
not maybe <laughs> why are you imagining like putting an led on the inside so that whatever liquid is in there glows coffee coffee cups don't typically have water in them sometimes they do but they don't typically have something in them that would be like positively affected by a light <laughs> Good luck washing that. Washing what? This? You just throw it in the, you just throw it in with clothes. I wash all of the toys. <laughs> I wash all of the toys. The plastic ones go in the tub and then I scrub them. The, the fabric ones, even if on the tag, they're like, please don't wash this. I, I wash them. <laughs> the LED mug. Oh, gotcha. That makes more sense. I was like, it's just fabric. <laughs> With the clothes? Yeah. Why not? Blah. Oh, thanks, guys. I got um, a bunch of these. <laughs> a bunch of just tiny little hair bands um, to try and do stuff with Clarkie's hair and my hair. And technically Sam's hair, because I like to braid Sam's hair, too. Um, I don't know that he would be down, like, jamming on these colors, but, you know, it's fine. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Oh, oh my gosh. Wake up, wake up, wake up. I woke up at 3 a.m. to a leg cramp. I've been there. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> My mom's visiting tomorrow. Oh, Arnar, that's fun. Am I feeling better after yesterday? Yeah. Um, I didn't get very much sleep. I mostly just stayed in Clark's room. Um, which is not conducive to good rest whatsoever, but Clark, like, was waking up every 15 or 30 minutes having a nightmare yesterday. This is two nights in a row where she's had a bunch of really bad dreams that, like, startled her awake, and she's really upset. So I just stayed in her room um, so that I could, like, immediately be like, you're okay, you're safe, you're fine, I'm right here, sort of stuff. But... I know, poor kid. So, hopefully, Sam was like, well, this is two nights in a row. She hasn't had like an, our normal bedtime sort of thing. Like the bedtime has happened a bit quicker than usual because we had people over or because she was exhausted. So she just passed out. Um, so maybe part of it is that she's not like winding down properly so we're gonna try tonight to like really take a lot of time at bedtime yeah i've also i also said that i was like i also have terrible dreams or like really vivid dreams depending on what i've eaten so i think we need to make sure that she's like eating better <laughs> like she's been eating fine but you know Sam had night terrors as a kid. Yeah, so I'm kind of like leaving it to him to assess like, are these, it's not, she just kind of like, while she's sleeping, you hear her like doing like lots of uh, mm, uh, mm, uh, sort of stuff. And she like kind of moves a little bit and then she'll wake up and start crying because of whatever the dream was, you know? So. So yeah, I did very little like sleepwalking, nightmare, like sleep paralysis sort of stuff. Um, so I am just going to treat it like normal nightmares unless Sam says like, I think that there's something else going on here because he had them for so long. 
Benji. I've been thinking about the gamer commune. It's silly, unless. I was talking about the gamer commune on stream yesterday. I was like, look. <laughs> They know, I told them, if they kept bringing it up, I would take it fucking seriously and start really thinking about it. <laughs> I had so much fun with you guys visiting. I'm so glad you came out. It really warmed my heart. And Clarky was so sad that you guys left all morning. This morning, all morning while we were getting ready for preschool, she was like, why did your friends have to leave? And I was like, well, they have their own homes that they have to go to. And she was like, oh, will they come back? And I was like, eventually. And she was like, will they be back when I come back from preschool? And I was like, no. <laughs> and she had so much fun with you guys. It was very sweet. And I told her what you said. Benji, Benji said that she has a, a potential future as a physicist. So I was like, um, Uncle Ben, who you played with a lot, uh, said that he can see a little scientist in you. And she was like, I want to be a scientist. I was like, great. <laughs> <laughs> Great, so calculus. <laughs> I was like, you, there are all kinds of different scientists you could be. You could, if you really like buggies and you want to learn more about buggies, you could be a bug scientist. And she was like, could I be a bubble scientist? And I was like, sure. <laughs> I don't see why not. What is that lipstick color? It's actually two layered on top of each other because the actual color looked really weird on camera. Um, it is, one second. This, these are cool because they're, they're L'Oreal Paris. And they're like 10 bucks, which is more than I typically want to spend on makeup. But um, what color is this? It's all scratched up. I don't know, but it's like they're they're like dark purpley color in the matte version of whatever this is. Um, and it's nice because it's really sheer unless you put it on pretty thick. So like, do they leak? No, um, but they're, they're really, it's like really thin. So you can treat it kind of like a lip stain. It can just be like just a tiny bit of color. Um, or it can it can be a lot. And so I put a tiny bit of color on and I was like, it looks a little weird with this one. So I put more on. And then when I turned the camera on, I was like, now it looks really weird. So it's, it's this with the one that I use a lot layered on top of it. Um, this one. Stay matte liquid lip color, um, strapless is the name of this one. But this one is basically like my natural lip color. I just use it when my lips are looking weird when I have a lot of makeup on, if that makes sense. So it's this with this on top <laughs> to like mute it a little bit. Totally, yeah. Some lipsticks look so weird depending on what light you're in. So I just, I layered them. They're both matte lipsticks. So in the end, they're not like getting on all my shit, which is nice. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I found that cause I went to boots this morning to get, what was I getting? Oh, I was getting gloves. Cause I want to, I want to add more color to my hair again since it's faded so much. Um, and I was like, oh, I can't find my like darker lipstick. Maybe I'll see if I can find one. And then I, I was sort of like hovering near the eyeshadow palettes and I realized like, I don't know which makeup brands are like not good, like in terms of their behavior. <laughs> I, 
I don't know which makeup brands are like good to support or not. And I realized, cause I don't buy makeup that often. It's like, I should really look into that. I should really look into that. My girlfriend tests lipstick on her arm. Yeah, not Kat Von D. <laughs> but like there are some that have like continued to work with um, like creators and things that have done like really uh, just like generally problematic people. Um, and they've been like, it's cool. They make us a lot of money, so we'll just keep working with them. And I'm like, mm, it's a little weird. <laughs> <laughs> Fun fact, the Kat Von D makeup products have nothing to do with her anymore. Interesting. Yeah, I know NYX doesn't test on animals, but you can't get a lot of NYX stuff here. There is like a small section at most drugstores, but it's not near, like in America, there's a lot of NYX products to choose from. There aren't a ton here. Yeah, on a lot of, um... A lot of makeup, if it's cruelty-free, will have a little rabbit on it. At least in America. Is it that way here? Mm. But yeah, what was I going to say? Oh, Winter was asking where the money's going this month. Um, so, yeah, I really... Hold on. <laughs> I should really update that. Um, so, oh, I have to log in. Dang it. So I accidentally left the um, command exactly the same for two months. This was not my intention. It just kept slipping my mind. Uh, so the amount of money from the first month will be going to take this. Uh, the money from um, my birthday month, since we never determined where it was going to go, um, after all of this Arcadum stuff has happened, uh, Callus Row is now fully independent. They've completely divorced themselves from Arcadum, including taking his money. Um, and so they are going to be setting up in a couple days, according to Kier, they're going to be setting up... Um, basically a place to like give money to help them get back on their feet independently to continue the project on their own um, and really like treat it as their passion project from now on, which it always has been. Um, so once that's set up, uh, all of the ad money from August, since I never determined where it was going, all of the money from August is gonna go to that. I know, I'm very happy for them. Um, also, if anybody has followed Kieran Sketchu with their stuff, they also have their own, they are like the major devs on Callus Row, but they also have like their own um, personal project that they're working on and stuff, and they have a Patreon as well, um, if you wanted to support them specifically in the projects that they're doing, because they're also working on their own like VR, RP, uh, separate projects, so. So yeah. That's where it's gonna go for August. Uh, the the question was, where is it going for September? <laughs> where is it going for September? That's a great question. Uh, let's look. Let's look at the list. I can't I can't um, update it right now because I'm logged out of the bot. <laughs> Which happens. Um, charity doc. So I've got the charity doc open, so I'll be able to look at this and choose something. What are we updating? I go, um, we're trying to update the, the charity for the exclamation point ad bonus. I mean, I guess I could just close my eyes and just pick one. Hold on, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna roll a die. Well, 
What? I need it to be bigger than this. Okay. All right. Heifer International. Their goal is to end poverty and hunger worldwide. It is a registered charity in the United States. Kiwi Glory suggested that one. Okay. I will look into that and maybe we'll swap it to that. Why is Deer streaming so early? I haven't even had breakfast yet, and then I realized, no, I just overslept. <laughs> yeah, it's our normal time. I did start late yesterday, though. So, uh, hello, welcome to the day. I'm messaging you right now, Mario. Aesthetic vibes this morning? Why, thank you. <laughs> A lot of people have said um, that I look like old Britney Spears. I was going to say that once I was done doing my hair, um, it reminded me of What's Her Butt from Death Note. So I'm delighted that nobody said that. <laughs> I mean, I guess I would have to go a little, a little more gothy, but you know. I can't unsee it now. I'm sorry. Misa Misa, what's up? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never seen Death Note. That's okay. Up to a point, it's very good. No spoilers. <laughs> Overall, I do recommend seeing Death Note. Um, there's just a point where I was I was really upset, and it the it the rest of it never fixed it <laughs> for me. It's definitely worth watching all the way through. I agree. Where are we? <laughs> what playlist is it pulling from? We were in the Yoshi album. This is good though. With the wild and moving, you can hear it in the ground, 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 ground. Yes, Mela? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go help Sam with the thing, so enjoy the music.
Hello, I'm back. <laughs> Sam was like, Sam was like, I didn't realize what trousers you were wearing. She was like, what do you look like right now? Why do you look so put together from the waist up? I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Any of y'all have cats that try to steal your food and can empathize with the struggle? Oh, who has that old clip of Watson chasing my food around? There's an old clip of me with a bag and Watson's like following the bag around. That was when we first got her and she had like a lot of food fixations. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a struggle. For Watson, at least, it was because she was, like, starving. We, like, found her outside. Um, and so she had a lot of, like, food, like, like, stress food stuff. Over time, she realized that she was always going to be fed and that it was fine. And she's now a really chill eater and she doesn't try to eat my food and stuff. So, yeah. Yeah, that's true. The Watson story that sticks with me is when she ate an entire bag of almonds. Yes, I will say, as a warning, um, hold on, let me get this music playing again. Um, I will say, as a warning, that if you have an animal that behaves this way when they get like stressed out or when some kind of a trigger happens for them, um, like Watson, I was gone and something happened and Watson started frantically like going through our entire kitchen and managed to get a cupboard open and ate an entire bag of almonds and had to be rushed to the hospital. Um, and it was terrifying. And we had to figure out how to like basically baby proof our kitchen. Um, because she just, you know, Something happened and she was like, I need to eat. I need to eat now, right? <laughs> so. So yeah, just be aware of like where food is in your house. Watson was the original baby in this house. I got a new kitten. He wants all the food in the house. Yeah. Yeah, it passes. Are almonds poisonous? No, she ate until she was vomiting and there was no way for her to pass the almonds and she also couldn't like vomit up the almonds. Um, so she had to have surgery and they took out like, like the little medicine pill boxes, multiple of those filled with almonds. And they were like, yeah, she would not have been able to get these out of her body. It's like, there's no way she could have pooped them out. There's like, at a certain point, she couldn't vomit them up anymore. There were just too many. So. So, yeah. Our little kitty was a stray that was being fed by an older lady. She gave him soup with bread because she fed a lot of stray cats around her house. Every time we make pasta or soup, he goes crazy because he wants some. Aww. Those vet visits are always scary, I know. They are, but she's okay. She was okay in the end. Just took a little bit of healing time thank you Larkin
No, back to work. Cry. Have fun at work. I know that you said cry, so I'm assuming you don't think that you're going to have fun at work. But maybe today's the day. Maybe today you'll have fun. Who knows? I had my second vaccine yesterday. I'm off work today. Nice. Work makes time go by faster. That's true. <laughs> yeah, um, my arm isn't really sore anymore today. Thank goodness. But I was exhausted yesterday. By the end of the day, I was passing out. for the chill energy streams i've been down a lot lately the energy here is just heart i'm glad you feel that way i'm sorry that you've been down lately but i'm glad that you and others feel like you can come by and recharge or just chill or get some good vibes here that's the goal like cat mom wednesday thank you it's not wednesday though did you know that <laughs> for me it was friday Oh, like Wednesday Adams. Oh, I see. Is Adams spelled with two Ds? I never knew that. I never knew that somehow. Can't wait for Autumn. I'm going to make all the pumpkin foods. Oh, dude. Yes. Um... I'm really weak to the time of year when uh, companies are like, if we just make this look like a gourd, somebody will probably buy it. And my brain's like, me, I'll buy it. <laughs> what do you got? A teapot that looks like a pumpkin? I'll buy it. <laughs> Yeah, we still do Manga Pod. Technically, we're supposed to do Manga Pod tonight, but I think that it's getting canceled because of how crazy this week has been. Um, uh, because to be honest, I just didn't read the manga <laughs> because of everything else that was going on. I didn't even think about it. And then this morning, Moeka and Aaron were like, so, uh, Brooke, you've been doing a lot this week. Are we doing Manga Pod? If not, it's fine. And I was like, oh, no, oh my God, fuck. <laughs> like, oh shit, I completely forgot about it. So we're seeing if we can push it a couple days, but. Alex, how are you, bud? I miss you. I know, I didn't do my homework. But yeah, we, we still do Manga Pod. Um, it's, it's an every Friday thing right now. We're actually um, in the process of trying to overhaul the look of it um, so that it's not a cam show anymore. Uh, AKA like, like I wouldn't be on camera during it. Um, we would have like little drawn versions of ourselves, which would be super fun. So those are getting worked on now. Not the full VTuber experience, no. That would be a lot of money. But yeah, little little drawings of us that like 
activate when we talk, that whole thing, the like moving PNG sort of thing. Hi, Jossum. What's your favorite manga? Vinland Saga. Uzumaki is my favorite horror manga. That's right here. Vinland Saga is my favorite manga. Um, romance manga. I love Densha Otoko. It's one of my faves. Um, what else? What else is good? I'm a, I'm a sucker for like shonen battle anything really. <laughs> but I was talking about this the other day, but all of them always stick around just long enough where I'm like bored with them which is why I stopped reading My Hero Academia, not because it got to the point where I was bored with it, but because I, I'm scared that it's going to, so I stopped reading it. Is the Vinland Saga anime any good? It is, it's it's very good. Um, I It's basically one-to-one. -one. Uh, it covers everything. I think the voice acting's really good. Uh, I love it, yeah, I'm really excited for season two. Did I build this? No, but I did find a guy that lives nearby um, who builds them and builds like tables and stuff, so. Oh, Arix, I wanted to actually message you. Hold on, I'm gonna message you really quick. I don't wanna like put you on the spot on the stream, so I'm just gonna message it to you. Watch the animemes, no mangagagas. Okay, then disregard this message. <laughs> then disregard this message. It's not for you. It was a mistake. <laughs> Don't spoil stuff about Vinland Saga for people. Don't do it. You'll get in trouble, I'll bonk you. Yu Yu Hakusho will be forever be my shonen goat. Um, Yu Yu Hakusho is really hard for me to go back and watch. There are, there are arcs that I really love and I still love the characters, but um, there's so much in Yu Yu Hakusho that gets like retconned or doesn't make any sense. <laughs> It's just super weird. Uh, so I still love it. I adore it. It was my favorite manga when I was younger. Or not manga, my favorite anime when I was younger. Where can I watch Vinland Saga? Um, I believe that Amazon bought it. So you can watch it on Amazon Prime. Hakusho walk so Hunter Hunter could fly. Yeah, I think uh, the the pacing and the storytelling, like beats and things like that, for Hunter Hunter, it's it's really obvious that he learned a lot doing Yu Yu Hakusho and was able to apply it to Hunter Hunter. Um, so things that Yu Yu Hakusho definitely could have benefited from. Unfortunately, like he just didn't have the experience necessary to be able to put the story together a bit cleaner, but that's okay. Yeah, the author of Yu Yu Hakusho, the mangaka of Yu Yu Hakusho is married to the mangaka of Sailor Moon. Yeah. 
Look it up, it's very cute. I mean, I don't know them in real life, but like the concept of it and the way they behave online is very cute. <laughs> I wish I secretly wrote Sailor Moon. God damn. It's about my shirt, Joe. My shirt is covered in cats on roller skates. <laughs> so it's an homage to my clothing today. Oh yeah, I've thought of making a comic many, many, many times. It's what I really wanted to do when I was in high school. I did like my own um, like four panel daily comic when I was in high school. And I had like, this is so weird to think about. I had like a big group of people that read it every day, but we couldn't like, I couldn't like upload it to the internet or anything. I would literally draw it. And then people would swing by my desk to be like, hey, did you finish it? And read it like on the paper and then hand it back to me. <laughs> it's so weird. It's so weird. Like, <laughs> um, yeah. And I was like, this is super fun. I totally want to like do this. Um, and tale as old as time. I started like going online and I found um, people who were my age whose art was like insane, like so good. Um, my age at the time, so like high schoolers who had like incredible artwork and I got really discouraged. Like, well, I'm definitely never gonna be at that level. <laughs> never gonna be that good, Jesus, so. Look, you just gotta make a thing. You're the only one who can make the thing that you thought of, you know? Yeah, well, I mean, like, there are people with incredible artwork that have tried to make a comic and it didn't really go anywhere. And there are people who, to be frank, can barely really draw, um, that have, like, crafted a fantastic story, right? Um, it's, like, <laughs> just make it, you know? The only way that you're gonna improve, I, I was just talking about this with uh, Kriken, because Kriken was like, um, are you interested in DMing more? And I was like, yeah, it's hard because I have a lot of imposter syndrome when it comes to DMing because I know a lot of insanely good DMs. Um, and so I wind up comparing myself to them even though they've had, they've like DM'd a lot longer than me. Or um, I know a bunch of people who are so strong in the mechanics, which I'm not. Um, and so those two things together makes me go, I really shouldn't be DMing. <laughs> like, um, but I can, I can step back and recognize like the only way I'm going to improve is to keep doing it. Uh, it's just, it just is what it is, you know. And he said something that's very true, which is, uh, sorry, he's 
in a room over there, which is why I point it that way. Uh, he said something that, that was very true, which is, um, he was like, if you are interested in, in DMing for newer players, that's probably really good because you have lots of opportunities to teach them the rules, which will reinforce the rules for yourself. And I was like, that's very true. And I am trying to like put together a group of new players right now, so. It is Tiri's birthday today. It is, yeah. My sweet cousin. The wicked thimble properly got me into D&D. Oh my gosh. I can post now. I hope the day is going well. Were you waiting for like, um, did you have to follow in order to talk? If you did and you waited the whole time, thank you very much. Friends' daughters want to get into D&D. They're eight and nine years old. What's a good place to start? Oh gosh. Um, I mean, do they have somebody who can, who can run the game for them? They need that. Or if one of them is like, I'm going to run it. Amazing. But uh, if they want to play. Hi. Hi. Look. He's still here. He's real. Sleepy boy. He's a sleepy boy. <laughs> you can close the door if you need to or whatever. Yeah, go for it. It's crying. He's staying with us. Um, but yeah, there are also like a lot of the main D and D like campaign stuff that you're going to find is going to be more geared to towards adults, but there are people who make, um, uh, like stories and stuff that you can find and that you can get that are geared towards kids. Um, some more, more of like a kid friendly story. But yeah, first things first is do you have somebody to run the game? And then, uh, you know, getting like, you can do it all digitally. You don't have to buy dice and stuff. Uh, but then figuring out like if you can find um, the right sort of material for their age range, that's gonna be a good experience for them. Yeah. Rapid Cannon, welcome to the Cat Gang. Thank you. Appreciate it. Do you have tips for creating cool visuals for your players while DMing? Like, like describing things, like imagery. That's honestly like one of my favorite parts of DMing. Um, if I'm concerned that in the moment I'm gonna struggle with it, I will, I will write it down. If you wanna, if you wanna be like, I don't think that there's any shame in, in writing down a description of a thing. If there's something that you want to include in your session, um, and you really wanna make sure that the imagery is like spot on and that you're really setting a tone, uh, I don't think there's anything wrong with, with just writing like a little blurb for yourself, you know? And if, um, if it's like for a huge place, which you aren't gonna wanna write blurbs for absolutely everything, um, try creating like, like if there's a town that uh, that your players are gonna go to or something, try making like a Pinterest board or a mood board or something that has lots of pictures of what this place looks like um, and start to try to think about like, how would you describe like this vibe? How would you describe, um, you know, the, the sort of mossy growths on things or, you know, like any of that. Uh, if you are able to see it, sometimes it'll help when you're trying to describe it in the moment. Check out the RPG system. No thank you, evil. 
It's a super solid system for inclusive storytelling with kids. No thank you, evil. Oh my goodness. No thank you, evil. Oh my god. Award-winning game of make-believe for kids and their families. Cute! Younger kids frustrate easily when a game is too complex. Older children quickly grow bored by games that are too simple. No Thank You Evil is great fun for kids as young as five and includes fun for the rest of the family. The scalable rules adapt easily to the abilities of the player. Hmm. A six-year-old might play, for example, a princess. An eight-year-old might play a super smart princess. A 10-year-old might play a super smart princess who experiments with science. And each of these stages will add a level of sophistication to how the game is played for them. But all of the characters play at the same table and in the same game. Interesting. I'll definitely look into this. What level of princess are you? Oh no. <laughs> I love mossy growth. Me too. I'm a big fan of mossy growths. <laughs> A princess of the highest order, of course. You're eating chow mein? That sounds great. I would love some chow mein. I would love sushi. Sushi sounds so good. I've been thinking about sushi for months. <laughs> for months, probably. <sighs> you had sushi for dinner last night? I'm jealous. Is Kraken staying? I don't know. I think until Saturday, but maybe not. We were just kind of like, stay as long as you want. <laughs> yeah, he's just gonna live here now. What do you think of British Chinese takeaway food? My American wife says it's not the same. It is not the same, and I actually really hate the Chinese food here. But I think it's like, like Sam never liked the Chinese food in America and vastly prefers the Chinese food here. And I am the opposite. I really do not like the Chinese food here. <laughs> there is, I can't find I can't find any place that makes fried rice the way that I want fried rice, which is such a bummer. <laughs> Since moving here, I have not had fried rice that has made me go, ah, what a, what a comfort, which is why I make a lot of fried rice. Not because I can make fried rice correctly, but I can at least try. My love. Hey baby, where's the coffee pot? Where's the coffee pot? The slightly bigger one, yeah. I think it's just next to the sink, isn't it? I think it just needs to be rinsed out. <laughs> There's a hole in his pants. We know.
<laughs> Pants are for Kraken's benefit. <laughs> <sighs> yup. Couldn't Sports Direct hook him up with some less well worn joggers? Do you mean JD Sports? They sponsored us, so we're biased. Just, you know, for full disclosure. <laughs> um, yeah. We were hoping they were gonna send him some trousers. But he uh, he has a lot of trousers. Those are just very comfortable. As anybody who has uh, trousers that have been worn so much that they have holes in them knows, the holes just make them more comfortable. Otherwise, I would have gotten rid of these forever ago. <laughs> I feel like there was a story I was going to tell today and I can't remember what it is. When is Kraken setting up his streaming gear? He streamed he streamed in my office last night actually. Did he get a haircut or am I thinking of someone else? Sam? Sam definitely didn't get a haircut. <laughs> his two-factor authentication locked him out of everything to do with his account. Whoops. Yep, new uh, new cat gang stuff should be up soon. We're we're locking in the day that we're gonna launch everything. I don't even know how he was streaming. He couldn't even talk in chat. Incredible. <laughs> how was meeting Dave IRL? It was great. It was great. It was very cute, it was very wholesome. Cause we were able to be like, Clarky, that's Dave. You've talked to Dave a bunch on daddy's computer. And she was like, oh. and she like did this. She got really shy, it was so cute. Are the cats freaking out about having a guest? No, they don't care. No, it was honestly, I talked about this yesterday, but it was honestly so cute. Like, <laughs> it was, it was so like, Joe, any of you who watch Joe a lot, you might get this vibe, but Joe is like a constant troll, just constant. So it was like, there's Joe, like the weird mischievous uncle that kept being like, you know, if you and I trade cards, then you'll have a full four, but then I'm gonna need you to do something for me. <laughs> like, like getting her to help him cheat at games constantly. Um, and then there was, uh, Benji was like helping her with her numbers and stuff. And like, and like teaching her things. And that was very cute. Making deals with the three, straight up. At, at one point we were playing, we were playing her muddles game and uh, she was sitting next to me and she got, she grabbed all of her cards and she got up and she sat next to Joe. Wait, actually there should be context here. Joe had just gotten done being like, I cannot believe that I'm doing so badly at this game. It's literally a game where you get like three animals and you try to combine animals to make monsters, right? 
Joe, we were so far into the game. Joe had no monsters yet. And he was just like, I can't believe that I'm like doing this badly at the game. Like I'm I, like, I'm actually trying to do well at this game. And I just can't, can't seem to get anywhere with it. Clark literally picked up all of her stuff and walked over and sat next to Joe. And I was like, are you sitting next to Uncle Joe? Cause, cause he's sad. And she was like, yeah, he seems sad. <laughs> and then she put her cards down and immediately Joe was like, you know, you have a B and actually, if I had a B, I would have three of a kind and then I could get a monster. And she was like, do you want my B? And he was like, I mean, if you're offering. And I was like, Joe, what the fuck? And he was like, I'll help her later. I'll pay it back. <laughs> So in the end, he did create a situation where she won the game, but <laughs> but it was very funny. <laughs> and then later on in the game, because again, there is a steal mechanic technically in this game, but we normally don't do it because it makes Clark sad. Um, later on, Joe was like, well, <sighs> I have cards that can make a monster, but that monster is already taken, so. And he looked at Clark and he was like, are you gonna be sad if I steal your monster? And she was like, you can steal my monster, it's okay. And he was like, are you sure? Are you sure I can steal your monster? And she was like, I don't want you to steal my monster. And he was like, okay, I'm not going to. <laughs> I know, she's very sweet. She did the whole thing again this morning where she was like, I don't wanna go to preschool, I don't wanna go to preschool, I don't wanna go to preschool. And then the second that we got there, she was like, actually, mommy, I do want to go to preschool. And I was like, why can't you come to this decision earlier on? Why do we have to spend the whole morning with you being like, I don't wanna go, I don't wanna go, I don't wanna go, I don't wanna go, I don't wanna go. And then the second we get to the building, she's like, Actually, I want to go to preschool. Actually, I'm very excited about preschool. I'm like, it would make my morning so much easier. <laughs> I It would make my morning so much easier if you came to this conclusion earlier in the day. <laughs> He's worm tongue whispering into Theoden's ear. Oh my God. Dave said Clark loves Simon Says and cheats at rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> she did, yeah, the boys were, that was another hilarious moment was all the boys in the room at the same time trying to teach her how to play rock, paper, scissors. And like, it would be like rock, paper, scissors or rock, no, it was rock, paper, scissors, shoot for them. So they would go rock, paper, scissors, shoot. And she would go rock, paper, scissors, shoot, sh shoot. <laughs> and they were trying to explain to her, like, you have to choose one, you have to stick with it, right? But, like, she would try to mimic, because she didn't fully understand, so she would try to mimic whatever they did. So she would choose one, but then if they did scissors, she would go... <laughs> it was very cute. Um, but yeah, the boys all played superheroes with her while I went to the grocery store, which I'm sure was cute. I was not there. Um, uh, Joe, like a super villain lounging from the couch was like, you guys should play hide and seek. And Clark was like, oh, can we play hide and seek? And the boys were like, sure, we'd love to play hide and seek. <laughs> while Joe's just on his phone, like. Yeah, you guys should totally play hide and seek. Wouldn't that be fun? Um, what else? I can't remember. They loved like just trying to teach her stuff. It was really cute. I have my seven month old in my lap watching your stream and he's waving at you. Hi. Any, any kiddos who are watching? Hello. 
Be sweet to your parents today. They're trying their best. Hi, Lena. How are you? He's smiling now. My heart. Joe, the evil mastermind. Seriously. <laughs> like... Um, so Kraken's still here, and then um, Joe Fudge, and if, I, if I'm giving you like streamer names, Joe Fudge, Dave5005, um, King Bendrick, and then, and then Kraken, right? Because there were six of us total? I think so. Yeah, I think that's the whole group. Chonk! Hello! Hi, Papa. What are you doing? Okay. He's very confused about going outside currently because I've put the barrier up for the chickens now. And so if he slips out a door, either he's trapped with just the car or he's trapped on just the grass. <laughs> I have a good story to tell you. I'm excited. Benji's still frozen outside. I believe Benji got into his home. Yeah, we ha we can't find his keys anywhere though. So I don't think, I don't think he left his keys here. He might've dropped them somewhere else. Kraken was worried about this bad boy because he was yelling when he had a toy in his mouth. I was like, Kraken, it just means he has a catch and isn't excited to show it to someone. Yeah, he showed me a video. <laughs> he showed me a video he had taken of Sherlock just standing out with um, with this in his mouth, just standing outside of the door going, row, row, row. and he said he woke up to that. So he was like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> He's like, what is wrong with him? Yeah. He's just excited. He caught a stuffed animal. <laughs> Rat doesn't understand cat. Oh my god. Poor Sherlock. Someone's understood in this house. Huh. You can't see what he's looking. Huh. So misunderstood. You're just a thick boy trying to live your life. <laughs> he looks huge from there. <laughs> he is huge, but like he really looks it currently. Hi darling boy. He's melting. <laughs> he thick. You big boy. Huh. Are you a big boy? Yeah. How heavy is he? I don't know pretty heavy though but he eats the right amount for his size he runs all over the place we've been assured by the vet that his organs are all fine and that he's healthy he just can't drop the weight because some cats just hold on to it forever so huh genetics what are we gonna do He's lovely. He's a lovely, healthy chunkus. Hi, Amarian. I feel his pain. He could be my spirit animal. Did Twitch add subtitles? No, no, no. Um, we have a plugin. You can do exclamation point CC. Uh, and it'll link to it. We use a plugin that was made by one of Anne's mods, Rat with a Shotgun. Um, and it's great. It works super well. It's very easy to set up. And that link also, if you're a viewer, teaches you how to turn them on and off if you're on mobile or whatever. So, <gasps> Thank you. It's two lipsticks on top of each other because the original lipstick was a little intense on camera. <laughs> White Pog Champion, yes. What you doing?
<sighs> I found there's um there's a person on TikTok that does uh, a lot of like food and drink stuff, and she did a recipe for um like spicy salmon with rice. I think I'm gonna try to make it tonight. I'm pretty jazzed. I haven't had salmon in a while. Spicy salmon, yeah. I can't, I can't make things too spicy cause Sam, cause Sam's tummy's not, not having it anymore, but a little spicy for a treat, just a little spicy. Yeah. My grandma once house sat for us. She woke up in the middle of the night to her black cat standing on her chest, staring down at her face. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I um I house sat with a couple of dogs when I was younger. When I was like 16 or 17. I house sat at somebody's place and they had two dogs and she kept bra <laughs> she kept bragging about how the dogs knew to ring a bell when they needed to pee. And I was like, "Wow, that's pretty cool." And she was like, "Yeah." Anyway, here's all the information you need to know about the dogs and stuff. And I was like, okay, cool. So she left and these dogs all night long rang the bell. And when the lady who owned the house got back, I was like, the dogs were ringing the bell like all goddamn night. And she was like, oh, well, I mean, if they realize that you'll just open the door every time, they'll take advantage. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> This doesn't seem like it works well. <laughs> like, I was not equipped with the knowledge on how to not be outsmarted by two fucking bell dogs. Like, that's not my fault. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. I was just woken up all night by a fucking bell. Unreal. Hi, Brett. How's it going, bud? It was, yeah, it sucked. But what can you do? Yeah, the cats knew that I was in Clark's room last night. So this morning at like 6 a.m. I could hear them wrestling right outside the door, right outside of Clark's room's door. And I was like, go away, stop. Cause sometimes they make a bunch of noise. And I was like, if you wake up my kid when she's been up all night having nightmares, if you wake up my kid right now, we will have words and you won't understand any of them, but I'll feel better. I know, I'm excited to play too, Brett. Clarky had nightmares, yeah, she was, this is two nights in a row that she hasn't slept very well. So we're gonna try to be careful about like what we feed her and make sure that we're like having a nice long bedtime like we normally do. The last couple of nights were just different because the boys were here, so. So yeah, she got really exhausted yesterday cause she was, she was like running these boys ragged all morning. And by the time it got to like four or five o'clock, she was exhausted. <laughs> And we were like, well, this is great. She's very tired. That's wonderful. But also. <laughs> yeah, I do feel better. I didn't sleep very well because I slept in Clark's room with her because she was just waking up so often that I was like, there's no, it does not even make sense for me to go back to my room. If every time she wakes up, she's like, ah, <laughs> like. Mommy, there was an octopus, and the octopus asked me a question, and then it took my hat. I'm like, all right. 
well, I love you and you're safe and I'm here and you can go back to sleep. And she'd be like, okay. And then, you know, who knows what, what the fuck she would say next. <laughs> Yeah, she had two two different nightmares about an octopus and neither one did it hurt her. It just took stuff from her. So it's like wholesome nightmares, but they still upset her. Oh, and one time she woke up and immediately started crying and was like, yeah, did the boys leave? And I was like, yeah, honey, the boys left. And she was like, why did they leave? And I was like, were you having a bad dream about the boys leaving? This is so sad. <sighs> so, poor Clarky. I was like, they'll come back, honey. They'll come back. They just have to go back to their houses because they've got houses too. Poor Bubba. The boys being her cousins? No, um... Sam surprised me. I got my second vaccine on Wednesday morning and he uh, surprised me by having um, three of our friends that live out here that we hadn't been able to hang out with at all since we moved to the country. Um, got three of them to come out and have a sleepover with us. So it was Kraken, um, Joe Fudge, King Bendrick, and Dave. And the the four of them were all here and Clark was so happy. <laughs> Kraken is still here, yeah. Big corporate round glasses. What, my glasses? It's kind of hit or miss if I wear my glasses anyway. Did he make his cheese sandwich okay? How would you rate it? I mean, the cheese got melted, so it weren't it weren't too bad. Um, but he put two different types of cheese on there without tasting the cheese first, which blows my mind. <laughs> one of them was a spicy cheese, and the other one I have no idea what it was. And he was just like, ah. So there were two different cheeses on there, and then he grilled it. And didn't say any, like, we we were talking the whole time he was eating, but, like, eventually finished it. And I was like, so how was your sandwich? He was like, yeah, it was all right. <laughs> okay. I guess, I guess it was an okay combination of cheeses. Do the chickens get along with Kraken? I don't believe that he's interacted with the chickens at all. I should get him to give them the leftover strawberries. There are a couple strawberries on the counter that need to be given to them. How happy was Clark to see Dave? She was very happy to just like have people in the house. We need to get chickens for ages. They're very fun. They d do not stop pooping. That's the, honestly out of out of possible issues with having chickens. That is the biggest <laughs> issue with having chickens in my life, is that they never stop pooping. Clark reminds me of my dogs. Just happy to see people. Literally. Clark is so, like, Sam and I are such homebodies, and we're okay not seeing people for a while. Um, Clark is definitely an extrovert. She needs, she needs, like, a lot of people and interaction and stuff. It, it fuels her, you know? It's very sweet. I don't know what kind of chickens I have. Their eggs aren't like the super aesthetic, like blue eggs or anything like that. They're just like different shades of cream and brown. But we have a black chicken and then we have two gray chickens. Huge fan of Clark, thank you. 
Me too, but I'm biased. <laughs> I had chickens, they lay an egg a day and I could not get through them all. Yeah, I mean like, they lay eggs seasonally, right? So we're gonna hit a dry spell here where we're not getting any eggs and that's fine. Um, but we have given so many eggs to people now. So many eggs. <laughs> We as a chat are a Clark fan club. It's very sweet. Oh my God. Today, this morning, she said something and I repeated it back to her and she was like, Mommy, don't say stories like that about me again. And I was like, whoa. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. She was like, please don't say that again. I was like, all right. I won't say it again. She was like, okay. It's like she's becoming aware. She's establishing boundaries. <laughs> she said a thing offhandedly. I repeated it and then she double checked with me like, I don't want you repeating that though. This stays between us. So I was like, got it. <laughs> got it. All right. Maddie, thank you very much. I appreciate the gifted subs. Um, also Leandro and Yandere love. Thank you for gifting subs as well. Uh, if you were gifted a sub by anybody today, please double check who it was and say thank you. Stitches get stitches, mom. She was very serious. Normally it's not, normally it doesn't come across as seriously. Um, but this was very much like, this is a thing I don't want, I don't want you like telling people about, right? Um, which I was like, nice. Nice. I'm glad that she feels like she can say that. Trask, thank you very much for the gifted subs as well. Serious Clark has appeared. She's entered the chat. It's good. It's good for kids to feel like they can say that. I've had enough work, can I retire? Yes, Alex, retire. Oh my gosh, absolutely. I think probably, well, maybe not all, all kids, but I think a lot of people, uh, can um, empathize with the feeling of their parents saying something and then being like, why, <laughs> why do you gotta tell people that, <laughs> right? <laughs> so uh, the earlier that, that she can start feeling like she can say, mom, I know you didn't mean nothing by it, but I would really prefer if you'd stop telling people that or if like this thing that just happened, this is, this is just an us thing. This is not a thing to share with people. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I impulse bought this shirt and then I named my stream after it. <laughs> so. <laughs> I still have to tell my dad, please don't tell that to people. Yeah. Clark checked out today's VOD. She would have a word with you again? I don't think so. 
Hopefully, if anything, she would watch it and be like, cool. My mom's happy I'm establishing boundaries. Tight. Nice. <laughs> nice. Sick. But I mean, I've, I've said before that like, like I want to, I want to over time pare down the number of stories that I tell about Clark because you know, she's a little human and she deserves her privacy. No, of course not. No, this is her first time being like, don't say this thing. I will not say it. I really wanted to start playing Ace Attorney. I fell asleep instead. I was like, I'm gonna curl up in bed. I'm gonna curl up in bed. I'm gonna I'm gonna grab my switch. I'm gonna play Ace Attorney. That's what I'm gonna do tonight while I'm exhausted from this shot. And then everything happened with Clark and I just wound up in her room. And I was like, Next time. <laughs> Next time I'll do that. Yeah. I want to meet Herlock Sholmes finally instead of only seeing fan art of him. I do like the Ace Attorney games. I haven't played the last couple in the series though. This will be my first one that I'll play in a while. I've never played one before. Oh, they're so fun. They're very fun. Yeah. I have not watched To Your Eternity. Um, to Your Eternity is the manga that we were supposed to read for Manga Pod that I 100% spaced on and did not. Did not read, so. <laughs> How are you so cool? I don't know what I said that was cool, but thank you. That's very sweet. <laughs> no, we didn't do the escape board game yet. We got to do it before Kraken leaves, though. Yeah, manga pod. We do a we have a um a manga book club. So we read like well it depends on the pacing of the manga, but we read anywhere from like twenty to forty chapters of a manga and then we we just chill and talk about it. And that's normally what would be happening tonight. It's not happening though, because I was very distracted this week. So Lena, I'll hit you up. You want to you want to be on a on a you want to be a guest on an episode? You want to do a manga pod? <laughs> I don't know any other chicks who read manga. Um <laughs> this whole th is it's all it's all chicks. <laughs> it's all fem female presenting peoples on this podcast. So yeah, if you want to meet uh, three of them at the same time, hell yeah. Yeah, I'll message you. Look at all these chickens. Look at all these manga chickens. I haven't been keeping up with Weak Hero. No, uh, I want to read more of it for sure. I haven't watched Beastars. I love I love the Beastars manga. 
I was wor I I felt like the anime might have too much like secondhand embarrassment and I might not be able to make it through. The manga's great. Yeah, I love the manga. I relate to that. The Beastars anime is too well animated in certain parts. Gotcha. I still really want us to finish Doro Hey Doro. I think it'll take a while though for us to come back around to Doro Hey Doro, but it's so good. Why in the USA all the doors are white? I don't know. I live in England. Why in England all the doors are white? Good question. <laughs> also, actually, all, now that I'm thinking about it, all of the doors in my childhood home were brown. Hi! Very sneaky, he snuck by. But why are doors though? Great question. That's Kraken. He's a lovely friend who's visiting from America for a few days. Since we didn't get to do it yesterday, should we take a quick break, grab Beverly's, and then uh, do Black Book? I'm trying to decide. This is a long game, I think. I think it's a really long game. We're like just now getting to like chapter two of like seven or more. And I'm wondering if we should play like this next arc of the game and then move on to something else on stream and I'll keep playing it off stream. Because it just seems like it's going to take with with the pacing that I play games on this channel it's going to take for fucking ever. Is it bad to play the same game a long time? Uh, in terms of viewership, yes, it's bad. I would prefer on stream to move on to a different game in the next week or so. Or we could just be a witch girl for a month. I mean, I guess. <laughs> we could do a long stream. We could do a long stream. I'll see what's going on on Monday. If if I don't really have anything going on on Monday, I could start uh, after Clark goes to preschool. I could I could start streaming and um, we could do like an all day thing and try to just play a bunch of it. We need to find mods for the game to give Witch Girl a real witch hat. <laughs> I mean, maybe pointy witch hats weren't part of like the Slavic witch experience, you know? Maybe Russian witches didn't have that aesthetic. They could adapt and improve. You know, just share vibes. We're talking about Black Book, which is uh, 
a game that we've been playing for the last week and a half, two weeks. Oh lord. It's just really, it's very hard for me to get through games because, let's be honest, I'm primarily a just chatting streamer. So, uh, we do like two-ish hours of this, which is great. Um, and then, uh, and then we play a game for a few hours. It just takes a very long time for me to get through the game because it's only like three-ish hours at a time, right? So, it takes a while. Am I in any D&D &D campaigns right now? I've been out of the loop. I am, I'm in two. Um, I'm in one called Misdemeanor, that's like a found family pirate game. Uh, that's on Brett Ultimus's channel. And then I'm in one called Godforge, and that's on Joe Fudge's channel. <clears throat> So that's it right now. I'm gonna watch this, thank you. No, thank you. If you start watching uh, Godforged, um, Godforged is like a standalone. It's it's very like the, the classic D&D &D experience, I think, it's just like a bunch of people on an adventure in a fantasy world, you know. Um, but Joe's a fantastic DM. Um, uh, but just to keep in mind, I don't show up until episode 12, I think. I. I joined later. Um, and Misdemeanor is part of uh, a game alongside of a bunch of other games that are all happening parallel. Um, so there are a bunch of games that you can watch all in the same world if you're interested. Uh, but ours is, is like found family pirate sort of wholesome vibes. So yeah. Pirate's Pog. Hog. Okay, I'm gonna go get some more water and stuff. I will be right back. Um, and then we'll play a game.
back. Mm, let's see. Turn this all the way down. Boop. Haha. -ha. It's gone now. Hi, everybody. We're going to swap over to Blurk Burk. Um, I assume that the warnings list is still the same. I don't think I've had a reason to change it. I don't think. No back seating, please. No spoily oilies, please. Beep. I look cool today. Why, thank you. My husband said I looked nice, and then he said I looked weird, and now I don't know what to believe. <laughs> it was because at first he, he just saw, like, this much of me and was like, you look really nice. And then saw that I'm wearing, like, super ripped up jeans and was like, now I'm not sure. <laughs> now I'm not sure what your vibe is supposed to be. I feel out of the loop. <laughs> yeah, why can't I be nice and weird? Why does it got to be one? Goodness gracious. Okie dokie artichokey. If you weird it is nice. It could it could be. It certainly could be. Weird could be nice. Oh, business on the top etc yeah why isn't grab the game grab it no Mm-hmm. I had played a different game. <laughs> it was like, bitch, I don't know what you want. This isn't Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> Stop yelling at me. New day. New day on the in the Isba. Wake up, Vasha. Vasilisa. Grandpa? Well, have you come to your senses? How did you end up here? Okay, so we've opened the second seal. For everybody who's not sure what's going on in this game. In this game we play Vasilisa. Um her husband, boyfriend, fiance, whatever. Uh, is believed to have committed suicide and is now in hell. At least that's what we think. So we became a witch so that we can get into hell and we can drag him back out with our bare hands because we're a fucking badass. Um, this game is based on Slavic myth. Uh, this is old Igor. He's our adopted grandfather who taught us everything that we know about witchcraft. Um, and we have a book that is supposed to solve, not solve, but grant a wish if you can open up seven seals. So we've now opened up the second seal. Um, and I think that's all you need to know. Great. A minute ago, no one was here. You tell old Yegor about your meeting with the Chort. So the second seal is gone. Now it's time for a water one. Good job, Vasha. Good job. Thank we you. might actually make it. Well, you rest a bit now before your next task. What up, my dude? Well met. 
Is this the house of old Igor? That's right. What brings you here? Here. I brought a gift for you. Salt. Hear me out, please. I'm from Ustbarovsk. I have a salt factory there. I'm Pahom Nikolaevich, the manager. My business is quite serious. I need to speak to you eye to eye. You need to speak to Vasilisa. She's the one in charge here now. Hell yeah. No eye girl. to eye. That's a dangerous job. No such thing as a safe job. Everything is as God wills it. It is as you say. God abandoned our salt works. One day there's some noise in the salt oven. Another, some shadows near the salt boxes. So what? I see nothing strange. These things happen all over the gubernia. Major administrative subdivision of the Russian Empire. This is true. However, there was no brine at first. And the other day, some workers went missing. It's been several days. The police don't care. They say they'll be back. I've already organized my own guards. I myself saw a kind of shadow near the barns. It disappeared the moment I saw it. I was told you can help me deal with spirits, and so I came here. Tell me, Pahom Nikolaevich, how people went missing? A week ago we hit brine. It just started gushing out. So we started working it, day and night, filled all the salt boxes. I put Alexei from Gradishevo on the night shift. He went missing. People said he went on a binge. The local doctor says he's an alcoholic. And then Pyotr went missing, also on the night shift. Did you try to figure out who is kidnapping these people? Yes. On the third day, I sent a couple of strong men, myself among them. <laughs> I thought maybe something landed on my head. Because I felt like something happened. I was like, did something land on my head? So I <laughs> pulled my hand up to try and feel it and realized that the the tie broke. What a bummer -oony. Here, let's choose a different color. Oh, snap. Nice. A warning for math. Yes, a warning for math. You'll see. Yeah, I never work with, like... I never work with... I never use these, um... These like really tiny ties, but you have to be careful how many times you twist them around. Anywho. All was quiet at first, and then at night, some sort of shadow appeared. Trishka called out to it, but it started thrashing about. I still get chills thinking about it. I crossed myself, and the shadow ran to the barn, or to the oven, or to the salt box. I couldn't tell which. Okay. Come morning, I saddled the horses. Tell me about your salt works. It isn't close. A factory near ust -Urolka. We do everything there. Extract the brine and load the Pirmianko onto the barges. Pirmianka is what we call our salt. Accidents happen. Can't avoid them. But we never had to deal with demons. Hmm. You said the salt started to disappear. For half a year we had little to no salt. Disasters. One after the other. But we held on. Now we struck brine. Workers have gone missing. I won't leave you hanging. But if we help you, don't forget about our reward. Perhaps you have some ancient or consecrated item? Don't worry about that. We won't forget. I certainly hope not. The main thing is that we find who is to blame. Have you had any arguments with the Vodinoi? With the Vodinoi? He doesn't give us any trouble in the factory. I'm a God-fearing man. We offered our Vodinoi vodka and baked treats. All right, I'll take a look at your factory. I organize transportation for you. They'll get you to the station. There, the manager will show you the way to the factory. Go as soon as you're ready. I'll go on ahead. Well, see you soon. God himself sent him, Basha. There, you will break your seal. If only I mm. had some Kupala salve, I could get there instantly. Oh, well, when Kupala comes, I'll get the required herbs. Get to it. What? Are we opening up the next seal, like, now? Interesting. Okay, how are my chorts doing? Oh, okay. Okay. 
Task failed. His sand ropes were no good. The presence of strong salt brine and vast woodlands on the banks of Kama, Chusovania, and Usolka contributed to the rapid growth in the number of salt pans. Initially, salt was boiled out of brine extracted from wells with primitive brine pipes. Later, salt refineries emerged with more complex extraction processes. Some of them stayed active up to the second half of the 20th century. Okay, and we gotta get our chorts doing shit. Oh, right, this one. Oh. He never gets to do his favorite thing. Sure. Four days, but it's his favorite. Maybe it takes them longer if it's their favorite thing. That's interesting. Animals. Famish a cow. Enjoy. Great. <gasps> you can find new pages by choosing any unlocked seal section. At the start, you can only choose from several available pages. The rest you'll have to get by defeating evil spirits or completing tasks. <gasps> Status doesn't vanish with battle progress. Deals enemies one damage when you lose health. Hmm. I can't add them to the black book. I'm not trying to remove pages. I'm a little confused, I think. I guess we'll get into a fight and I'll figure it out. Oops. What's that? What's that? What in the name are you doing? You can't pet me. I'm not your cat. I'm a demon, all right? Can't pet you? Let me tame him with a good poker hit. Wait, wait. What poker? Are you mad, Gramps? Are Maybe you mad? Maybe that will make you a better susietko. I have to feed you for that out of my can heart. Yesterday, some bird flew in. I had to chase it off. Where were you then? Huh? Not a sign, you furry short. We do have a cat. He's a susietko, so he, like, is supposed to protect the house, but he doesn't do shit. <laughs> Why, stop. Come on, you'll hate me, damn it. Be careful, Igor. All right, I get it. I will do a better job as a susietko from now on. That's better. Next time, my hit will find its mark. He is not the kind to spoil his children. I know, right? What happened after you became a spirit? Seems like I do remember. We Sosietkas can see future quite well. The past we forget after a century or so. I was from Chute's tribe, I think. You're one of the Chute? They say Chute are small and wide-eyed. And you're cats! There you are, you're there cats. There are spirits like that, called Chute. People lived here. 
a tribe like Komi Pyramids a long time ago, so I was one of them. There was my hut at the same place where the church was built, or a dugout it was. I remember exactly that I lived at the same spot. They must have buried me under the threshold, so I became a house spirit. And when Isba was gone and the church appeared, then I must have moved there. A lot of things happened. I will stir my memory a bit more about how I was Susetko in that Isba. Tell you later. So you can take any shape? I can. A wolf for a man, take a pick. Usually don't need it though. Ordinary people see us as shadows, nothing more. The rest they imagine themselves. Hmm. Let's go. We'll talk later. I still wonder how word gets out in the land of Perm. I traveled to Vilgord. No one fears me. Must have heard oh. that I transferred the power. Yeah, we've done all that. Okay. Let's go. Yeah, the demons in this are called chorts. Ooh, some herb. Ooh, a nice herb. Well, I can't go over there. Oh, I can. Hell yeah, I can. A restless mischief of magpies is circling the telegraph post. The white collars of these birds flicker in the moonlight. Kill a magpie? Wait, why would I kill a magpie? Does a it want me to kill a magpie? magpies is so You read a black zagavar. One of the birds drops dead at your feet. The other birds scatter with a chatter. Damn. Well, I got an item out of it, for better or for worse. This is not my first time playing this, no. Okay. Okay, just double checking. Cart has seen better days. There's a note. Fetka, go shoot some magpies on the street. I'm sick of their cawing. Well. There's a harmful status. So I rolled up a cigarette. And then I tell him, you know. Spicing it up with curses. Then he crowded and disappeared. Happened this year in the hunting season. Was he also asking about your daughter? Come on, your excellence. Every knowledgeable passerby thinks he has to pull my leg. God bless. God bless. The nobleman glances at you, flushes red, and nods <laughs> in a restrained manner. I know I'm cute. There aren't any horses at the station. Really? And what about your Sivka? The Sasetko has been riding that one for seven nights straight. She doesn't let anybody near. You have to wait for fresh post horses. They're due in the morning. And listen to some sons tell stories. My name is Alexander. My companion is none other than the station caretaker. My name is Vasilisa. I'm going to the Uzbarovsk factory. You won't make it far without a carriage at this hour. We can play some cards while we wait. Oh my gosh, am I gonna slap these from? boys at cards? From Vilgard. I have business at the factory. The horses could bring me only as far as this station. The locals perhaps are afraid of riding in the direction of the factory. Well, what do you expect? The factory is haunted, and now demons have snipped the telegraph lines. What a mess. At this rate, we'll be left without a Tsar. Did the demons cut the lines or what? Who else? According to you, the demons are to blame for everything. Is winter also there doing? You bet. Have you heard of Shulikuns? <laughs> Seasonal spirits coming out on the land on Christmas or New Year's and going back under the water through the ice holes after baptizing I know day. about them. 
and I know for a fact that the winter is not their doing. It's all on the celestial bodies. Really? So what happened to the telegraph? <laughs> Vasilis is like, the anyway. <laughs> took the horses. Told me he was going to fix them. Took the stable man as well. Samson says the spirits are to blame. He says all sorts of superstitious things. Try living by the forest as long as I have. You'd see stranger things. What have you heard about the factory? It used to be a fine factory. Before the devil came, people started to disappear. There's always some witchery going on. Was it before the recent disappearances? I heard the same thing from the peasants. They say it's a bad place. That's right. Everyone knows the mills are all haunted. Why would the factory be any different? He's right. We know he's right. <laughs> Just don't go in the water if you can't swim. He told me about other cases. Well, there's no lack of misfortune. Pahom sure had it tough. Then all these problems with the brine started. Now they tell me more salt workers are disappearing. God is punishing them. Or oh, the devil. What about you, Alexander? Where are you going? I'm going to Logova village. I'm a doctor. Studied in St. Petersburg. The doctor there has his hands full. A difficult case. We've been exchanging letters. I know a little about folk medicine. What happened here? A witch doctor. A noble trade, but not as effective as the scientific approach. Well, okay, listen, you don't have to insult me, but fine. The developed a kind of emaciation. She can sleep at night, hallucinates. What do the people say? The usual things. Curses, kalduns. I know how to deal with that. Perhaps I could help you. There's no curse there. I mean, are there even such things? We need some of that paste. I'm, I'm sure that there's something about, like, you have to be willing to use the paste, but we need to put some of that paste on this dude's eyeballs. And then be like, do you see? <laughs> Look at all the fucking chorts in this town. There's a sick girl in Logova village. Come, I'll be waiting for you. I mean, I'll be in the village. Okay. Will we get to Oroka with this horse? Sure. If Sivka comes to its senses. Doesn't look like it, though. I want to ask about something else. Oh, I guess I want to ask about something else. Sure, let's play cards. <gasps> Wait, how much money do I have? How much money do I have? I don't do well in the 2v1 games. Okay. Hearts trump. Oops, I should have kept that. to take them. Unreal. Oh my god, I have so many cards. Fuck. Sorry, Alexander. <laughs> Whoops. It's Trump. Samson. Mm. 
Nice. Ugh, well, congratulations on your winnings. Thank you. I love the like low poly versions <laughs> of everybody in this game. Hi, the horse. persistent neighing of a horse can be heard from the stables. When you come closer, you see a black shadow shuffling around the animal. You take a closer look and recollect your grandfather's lessons. This is a susiedka. You're sure of it. Oh, a witch! Do you both have a coven here or something? Why do you torture the animal? A susiedka is supposed to look after the horses, not torture them. So you see me? This animal is the wrong color. It's not like that of the master. The color is wrong. What color do you require? Oh, I'd be happy even with a small, puny hearse. But it should be the same color on the master's beard. If I waste this one, he'll buy a new one. What? Come on. Hmm. I can arrange something with Samson. I'll tell him to buy a new one. And you, Well, you talk to him, which we'll see. We'll see. You leave the Dumavoy alone and get back to the yard. The persistent neighing of a horse can be heard from the stables. When you come close- Oh, a witch! Why do you torture a Sosietko is supposed to- so I want to try, like, seeing animal. if I say that I want- Repel the demon like with a magpie. Oh. One of the options was for me to use, um... Prochetka or whatever his name was, Ars Susietko. Or pal the demon with a magpie. You throw a dead magpie into the stables. The domovoy hisses like an angry cat. The spirit jumps off the horse and disappears into a dark corner of the stables. Yeah, I killed a magpie earlier, so I just had a dead magpie with me. Oh, Vasilisa. So, how's the horse? I'll go check on your livestock. Maybe I can calm it down. Go I already, on. I already did it. I already oh, did that. Vasilisa. So, how's the horse? I managed to calm the animal down. I made arrangements with the Susietko. Well, what do you know? All right. I'll get you where you need. Thank you for not sharing any more of these wonderful stories. They aren't stories, that's what happened. <laughs> Fooey, he says. Road to Usparov. I got one of the encyclopedia entries. Proshka, that's his name. The caretaker points in the direction of Ust Urolka and the cart with Alexander in it departs to Logova village. As you plan your next moves, you're interrupted by a shadow that appears suddenly on the road. For a moment, the shadow stops, but then quickly approaches you. Soon, a peasant stands before you with a heavy club in his hands. Hello. I'm from Vilgurd. I'm headed to the salt works. Cross yourself first. Okay. You make the sign of the cross over yourself. <sighs> I thought I'd run into a demon. That kind wouldn't be willing to bless itself. I was sent for a night watch from Ustbarovsk village. Shirts are bothering folk at the factory. You're heading there? Well, yes. I'm an ore from Cherding. I'd like to help. A witch? I, I'd better get going. What did you hear about the missing people? Gone without a trace. At first, we thought they'd gone on a drinking binge. But no. Fooey needs to cap off more sentences if you ask me. I can't, like... Even though he went, Phew, I cannot read that without reading Fooey. <laughs> they went missing during their night watch. I heard there was a thick fog on those nights. Looked like a river overflowing. What have you heard about the missing salt? I heard it went missing long ago. Must be some thieves. Could it be Chorts? Could be. Oh, kingdom of the Lord. I used to be a salt walker once. See? Ears are all eaten away. Better ears than the immortal so though. Here's all eaten away. Well, God bless you.
At the beginning of May, once the spring floods allowed ships to approach cities, the arrangement of trade caravans began. Salt was sent to Nizhny Novgorod, the center of the salt trade. Laborers shouldered large sacks full of salt and carried them onto the ships. The salt irritated their ears and neck, which swelled and turned red. This is the origins of the widely known phrase, salty-eared permiac. Susietko is the name for a domovoy or a house spirit in Cherdenuyezd. They are often called Susietko, pal, or Susietko, brother. In Komiperm folklore, he is called Susietkolon or Vesalun. He is a helpful rather than harmful spirit. He helps as a good neighbor might. This may be why his name is similar to that of neighbor in Russian, so said. A domovoy lives alone, but the Susietko is a family spirit. He more closely resembles a patron of the head of the family that lives in an izba, and his wife and children are patrons to other members of the family. Susiadko warns of danger and protects people and pets, but strongly dislikes when his wards behave improperly. He may punish them for this at night by pressing on the sleeper's chest so that his chest aches and his breathing becomes shallow. If any livestock has a hide that is the same color as the master's beard, the domovoy may take a liking to it. If a Susietko likes a horse, he might braid its mane. He also likes braiding women's hair. Cutting off these braids causes headaches. Interesting. Okay, let's do this. Let's try and help with this. Let's see what the fuck. Sharp pine trees overhang the road like the legions of demons you've seen in many icons at the Church of the Trinity. You nearly jump. The forest darkness is torn apart by a flaming whirlwind hurtling over the trees. Hmm. You run after the fiery whirlwind. You think that you've lost it, but then see it above the trees again. The chase leads you to Logova village. The fiery omen circles the chimney of hmm. one of the houses and then vanishes. You knock on the door of the Izba, next to which you saw a fiery image vanish. Alexander opens the doors. Inside, of course. the doctor has already prepared the remedies. Among the bottles, you notice several old candles. I didn't expect you to answer the invitation, but come in. Here is the sick girl. On a bench under the icons lies an emaciated woman. Her eyes are open, but clearly do not see. She whispers abrupt phrases. He'll come. He'll be back. He'll be back. What are you talking about? What are you waiting for? Vanya, he's back. I know it. It seems that this woman is delirious after several sleepless nights. This Vanya, is he presumed dead? He's alive. Alive. I've seen him. He's well except for his missing spine. Her husband was killed in action. The news came not so long ago, they say. I saw a demon near the village. That's the tales of Samson. They make you see things. Alexander. I don't want to be the person that fucks up your whole life, but I feel like I'm about to be the person that fucks up your whole life. No, I think Evil Spirits has a hand in this. Of course they did. Don't believe me? I know for sure a demon's at fault. The demon comes to the girl in the image of her dead husband. It drains her of her life force and can lead to her death. What spirit is to blame for her sickness? A domovoy, maybe? Wait, I had more? Oh. Right, plants. Okay. Um, did we have a thing specifically about Domovoy? Domovoy are like house spirits, right? Fiery snake. We don't have a thing about Fiery Snake or Leshy. Leshy is what um, drains her of her life force and can lead to her death. The demon comes to the girl in the image of her dead husband. Well, Proshka said that 
he can take the the Proshka was literally like inside of a little girl and kept her sick. And said that he could be anything, right? That like technically he could turn into anything. Khuldun would be is what I am. We don't have information about Leshy. Fiery Snake? I wish that one now that we have so much info, I really wish that I could like Search for things. Women succumbed to Ikota more frequently. Sometimes passed from one housewife to another. Old believers treated Ikota violently. This is what... Proshka was, I think. Whoever happens to trip over the stone or swallows the insect by accident suffers from the yukota. This is the form of frog spawn, where rarely an insect. It is not, however, always brought on by a koldun. It may pass from a koldun to any man in the event of the former's death. And when inside of the person, the yukota can speak with all kinds of voices. Obdariha, it's not... Helpful rather than harmful, but I think it's all going to be connected. What, like, I think it's going to wind up being a domovoy because if the if the husband if they're saying that a susiarko or like the a domovoy of the house would be really attached to like whoever was the head of the family and Alexander's just saying that he just died and we know from Proshka that a Susiatko can can change their shape into anything it drains her of her life force and can lead to her death hi everybody welcome we're trying to we're trying to solve a witchy riddle here. The demon comes to the girl in the image of her dead husband. Alexander said that her husband died recently. It drains her of her life force and can lead to her death. What spirit is to blame for her sickness? I'm positive that it's this. I'm just trying to do my due diligence and make sure. Kuldun shit. That's all the double belief stuff. Too many years. Doing familiars charts. They can also appear as little human like creatures. It's either mm, this is hard. It's either It's 
It's either a domovoy, and it's connected to the stuff that, that we're just learning, and there's a reason that we brought Proshka with us, or it's um, a Koldun who has sent a chort to, like, curse this woman. I'm gonna go with Domo Boy. Could a Susietko be trying to strangle her at night? Fuck. No. It's more likely that the Fury Snake is at fault. But we didn't have any information about that. We just saw like a big whirlwind of fire. Why was I supposed to assume that? God damn it. Some chorts take an image of a dead relative, often the husband, and come to the grieving. Such a chort flies in the sky as a fire sheaf, broom, or spindle. Only on the ground it assumes the dead man's image. One can recognize this demon by the absence of his spine. Fine. Right? I should have assumed that. He has no spine, so he's a snake. I get it. Fine. It all fits. The dead man, the visions, the lack of a spine. He must be close right now. Close? Yes, he's here. Soon my Vanya will come. Yeah, I was saying before, one of the things that I really like about this game is that it does the thing where it gives you shit tons of information, right? Like, we get um, these, which are like, like, uh, what am I trying to, what am I thinking of? They're like stories, right? Um, more like lore sort of stuff. And these, these are like actual information about what these things were believed to be. Um, and you use them to try and get like, to try and answer questions like that to get a bunch of extra experience. Um, so it gives you reasons to read through all of that shit, which is really cool. When did she fall ill? The local doctor first wrote to me about her several months ago. Alexander's about to see a fucking snake man and he's gonna lose his shit and pee himself. And I'm gonna be like, see, you don't gotta be a bitch about it. You don't, <laughs> you don't gotta make it sound like this thing that I'm committing all my time to is for fakesies. It's real, Alexander. I'm gonna rip my husband out of hell. Just watch me, Alexander. Long time. We won't cure her with words at this point. There's this type of chort. They take the form of the dead and visit the living. They can also look like their husbands. <laughs> we need to ambush the chort that's been haunting her. If we get on the stove, he won't notice us. You'll see it with your eyes if you're close. This is madness. If we don't do this, the woman will soon follow her husband. No. Besides, Oops. they say that educated men like to put everything to the test. Vasilisa, it's like, I thought you were a man of science. Don't you want to, don't you want to be sure? Alexander reluctantly agrees and gets on top of the stove. Incredible. You don't wait long. Sparks fly out of the mouth of the stove and out crawls a pale chort with cow's hooves. For a moment, you think you hear Alexander whispering protective Zagavars. However, you have no time to think. You need to decide what to do next. Yeah, the, because because it came out through the stove. Hey, you demon. Come again yesterday. <laughs> hey, demon. <sighs> All the strike in a book. How's that on the stove? Why do you torture this girl with a fiery snake? Get out while you still can. <sighs> You guess it. That's what I think. That's enough. The stove won't stop me. I'll get you. The chort turns into a sheaf of sparks. You jump off the stove and draw a circle. Let's fucking go, bitch. <gasps> I've got my kitty. Proshka's defense. What a sweet boy. Now what are you doing? Eternal suppress. Status doesn't vanish with battle progress. Next attack deals one damage, reduces when taking damage. Oh, interesting. It's like, um, I can't remember what that uh, enemy is called in Slay the Spire, but yeah, for every, every bit of damage you do. I'm so, I'm so curious. I'm so confused. Increases blessed by five with every health loss. Oh, interesting. I 
Next attack deals one damage. Reduces. Oh, he put that on me. Oh, what a bitch. He's going to put mega waste on me. What the fuck? Hmm. Okay. I am wondering, like, why I couldn't add my new pages to the book. So I'm sort of waiting to see if my new pages will show up all, like, naturally, but... <sighs> I guess we'll see. Ugh. He's now doing so much damage. This is rough. I need to figure this is I need to figure out how I'm supposed to do this fight. Can I change stuff now? don't understand. Minimum 13, maximum 33. Oh, this has 30. Oh my god, I was working with this by accident. Oh my god, well that's part of the problem. I had none of my good cards. But like, can I not... Am I not gonna see these cards in there? Okay, now we have it. <laughs> Maybe if I had talked to Proshka, he would have told me about the fiery snake. And then I would have had that information ahead of time. What are you gonna do? I wish I could get... Ah, I really need... Only gonna do three damage. Oops, I should have used you. That's okay. Oh, fuck.
Now. Hmm. I guess he only has that for five turns. Why couldn't I get this next time? Oh, that's fine. So for five turns, I'm not gonna attack. I guess that's what I'm gonna try. Only 12? Interesting. Oh my god, no, look at all this. If I had waste cards, I would I would use them. Wait, 37, why? Okay, hold on. So it's eternal, but I think I can get rid of it. So I think I can eat this and not deal with that shit anymore. to use that. Okay. He's gonna hit me. Yeah, the story's been great. Uh, and I don't know a whole lot about, like, Slavic folklore, so... Um, a lot of stuff I've gotten to just, like, learn the way that the game wants to teach it to you, basically. Which is fun. I 
think I can do waste and be fine. I think. around on my end. But I do think waste is is contributing to bless. With every health loss. Yeah, I fucked this up again. No waste, no waste. Oh, Lord. Hoping this means I'm about to get a turn with all white cards. What the fuck? <sighs> Shit, I'm dead. <sighs> I need to go potty. One sec. One sec. I'll be right back.
Hello. I'm back. Hello. We good? <gasps> oh, look at that. Animated emotes for Jessup. Okay, what the fuck are we doing? Why? Why am I getting this now? Good lord. There's something about this fight that I'm missing. So, he's gonna put suppressed on me. I'll get rid of it, however. Um, but this is what I don't have anything that I can use to get rid of, I don't think. Eliminate their shield. Damage absorption is good. I should be using that more. Gives four each round. Deals three each turn. But every time that he takes damage, Where's all the content now for Geek Enders? I have no idea where Geek Enders is anymore. <sighs> I don't know. Okay, he's gonna put more waste on me. I'm gonna wait for it. Then, oh shit, we still don't. Ah. Wait, why did he get bless? From what? He's gonna put suppressed on me again. But that means that this turn, well, no, cause he'll, then he'll have bless. <laughs> well, I can put that up at least. What a nightmare. Cool. 
Cool. Well. of suppressed. Fuck. God, that sucks. gonna do too much damage to me. Oh. Ah. Anything that heals me anymore? Oh shit, that's not what I wanted to do. That's funny, oh well. That's what I wanted to do. <gasps> He's gonna hit me for 35? Oh fuck. Why did I not notice that? Shit. Okay, so you can answer this question. Why can I not use these cards? Is it that I have to unlock 13 cards before I can start using the Aspen seal? Can I not combine seals? It's because your deck is full. You have no room in your deck. But, okay, um, hold on. It won't. <laughs> so clicking them over here gets rid of them. I'm realizing I the way that here's why I was confused the way that this is laid out really confused me and those of you who play more like legitimate deck builders where it's like put together a deck for yourself you probably are looking at this the correct way um, I thought this was representative of my deck not this I don't know why that's the problem I was having. Everything makes much more sense now. Okay. I see what went wrong. So, it confused you too? Thank God I'm not alone. Okay, so. Okay, so let's look at which cards are not as useful. We have lots of cards that, um, Like, Raba, maybe not. All it does is give a little bit of, of shield. Like, surely, like, we have other key cards that do much more than that. So...
It still won't let me add this. It still won't let me add those. Why is that? Maybe we'll start from scratch. I can't remove any more pages. Okay. So I'll put a bunch of those bitches in there. Take all the Arazi out. Removes positive status. Put those in. We definitely want those. need any cards that are like for multiple enemies. This is like specifically a one enemy deck here. Moves negative status. Yes, please. Okay, and then these still can't go in. So now I put it back to you, chat. <laughs> Why can I still not add these to my deck? This confuses you. It also confuses me. <laughs> I would love to use these new cards that I've grabbed. You can craft them. I have to make these cards. I don't have these cards yet. Is that what you're saying? Because if I had them, it would have a number. But the, I don't think the game gave me an option to craft. I don't think the game was like, by the way, you can craft now. Well, yeah, uh, yeah, obviously. It's saying, it's saying that It wasn't made clear that I don't own these cards is the problem. So it's acting like they're already in the deck as far as I could understand, which is why I was like, I don't. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, well. I guess let's try this then. Hmm, do I want less of some of this stuff? I want this real bad. Let me get rid of one of those. If we can get all those at the right time, it'll be great. Um, 
Okay. Back to no back seating. Let's see how this goes. And just like that, all my problems are gone. Let's toast this boy. I love imagining this fight happening and Alexander is off to the side and I just keep fucking it up. I'm like, okay, hold on. I'm normally, I'm, I'm normally really good at this. Hold, hold, hold on. I'm a really good witch, Alexander. <laughs> yeah. Like, hold on, my Zagavor was like not exact. It wasn't. It wasn't quite. That's not what I meant to say. Okay, I'm a new witch. Okay. Give me a minute. Oh, I've suppressed on again. Fuck. No, actually, I don't want to do that. Oh, well, I mean, that's fine. Getting rid of either one is good, I guess.
That sure is some waste. Okay, he's dead. <laughs> he's dead. Nice. Who? Removes a page from the book until the end of battle. Interesting. Deal seven to all enemies for each herb used. Ooh. Deal twice the amount of damage if against an enemy curse. Oh. So like if they're attacking, basically. If they attack and I use this, I guess. I like that. The short breaks out with a brilliant flame and first try. That's stone. yep. That's what I it remember. Won't return to this is bad, but it's better for you to prepare for your next encounter with it. You inspect the sick girl. She looks a bit less pale. Her strength is gradually returning to her. Alexander thanks you modestly and prepares to set off. The young man avoids looking at you. It seems his meeting with the demon had a profound effect on him. He reluctantly admits that he whispered some prayers while sitting on the stove. <gasps> That's it? He's like, to be honest, I never want to see you again. <laughs> Fine, fair enough. The murmur of the Chornaya River can be heard amidst the darkness. You also hear several voices nearby. A prickly sensation on your back tells you they belong to the spirits. Having heard your voice and the holy words, the spirits disappear. The only thing you hear is a water splash. On a stone by the water, <gasps> yeah. you notice a wet comb. You leave the river behind and go back on the road to Ust Barovsk. Okay. What's this up here? The grim forest. You have goosebumps, a sign of a devilish presence. You look around. Your only companion is humming among the silence. Suddenly, a dark figure steps out from the shade. It is a scribe, a Zagavr dealer. What kind of wisdom do you possess? That which comes from above or that of snakes and demons? Let's see. Ooh, new stuff, new stuff. Equal to enemy's status, curse times three. I feel like I'm not super clear on what they mean when they say curse on these cards. Increase both attack and defense. Okay. The telegraph wires stretch between the poles like the strings of a giant spindle. The wooden structures look alien and the grim trees around them seem to glare at them reproachfully. By the road, you notice a couple arguing in a lively manner. Oh, Lord, how do I even begin my journey there? My Lord, I'm scared. Did you hear what they were saying on the station? I'll show you, scared. Good evening. Let God arise and his foes vanish. Oh, damn you. Who goes there? My name is Vasilisa. I'm going to the Wusterolsk factory. Good Lord. Why are you roaming around at night? We're up to our necks as it is. I'll get this Samson. He scared all the neighborhood. I'm telling you, I saw it with my own eyes. Under the poles, the tracks are human, and then they turn into hoof tracks. I'm not going there. You go if you need it. Mind who you're talking to. I'm the monitor. 
What were those tracks? Perhaps it was some animal. No animal walks barefoot. When the chief told me about the telegram, <laughs> what? I went over there and I find this thing. So I ran. No animal walks barefoot? Is he trying to say because the because the tracks start off as people feet and then turn into hooves? Is he trying to say like there's no animal that where their tracks look like that? The way that it comes across is like all animals wear shoes, Vasilisa. God. <laughs> I'm not afraid of chorts. I can go there and check. Well, if my worker doesn't want to, I leave it to you. As a reward, you'll receive his daily wage. Fine by me. I wait here. Keep the money. All right. I'll be back soon as I deal with the chorts. Paws are nature's shoes. <laughs> Nice. A rut. An old one. It's dry. It hasn't rained for a long time. Well. Just like the man told me, bare feet that turn into hooves. Torn cable. The road leads to the village. In the distance, you seem to discern the settlement lights. Oh. I've already okay. The road leads to the village. In the Sure, let's go to the village. <laughs> Despite the late hour. The peasants aren't sleeping. Almost all of the residents of this small village have gathered on the street. The discussion quiets down once they notice your figure on the road. Good evening. Where are you heading? Good evening to you, good people. The telegraph manager sent me to inspect. Oh, the demons stood it down. Did you see that? <laughs> the, the, those dang old demons. Yes, well, if you saw it, off you go. It's dangerous here. The place is haunted. Who knows what else? I saw the torn wire. I haven't seen any demons, though. There was some strange tracks near the pole. Well, what do you expect from a demon? Strange that they stayed there in this dry weather. Well, it's a short we're talking about. He leaves his tracks where he wants. There's another thing I wanted to- There's nothing more to ask. I'm telling you, go on your way. The peasants see you off with heavy gazes. You understand you won't get anything from these people and return to the road. Having noticed your approach, the monitor comes to meet you. What? Oh, do you figure out what's wrong? Looks like a demon's doings. People in the village are also scared senseless. See, that's what I was talking about. This is bad. What should we do? We'll call father. He'll bless the telegraph. We'll see about it. And thank you. Here is part of your reward for your courage. Well, goodbye. That's all I gotta do? I could have gone anywhere. <laughs> I could have gone literally anywhere and then come back and been like, yep, it's a demon. And they would go, wow, what a brave bitch. And gave me three coins. They're just gonna have a dude bless it and it'll be fine. Just Question before mark. dawn, the village is still, wrapped in icy dew. You're greeted by the whisper of a stream, a breath of damp wind, and the faint song of peasants who stayed up late. There might be like an alternate version of that. Maybe there's something that I missed in that first scene. Um, there might be an alternate version of that where like I have something else to say and the peasants are like, oh shit. <laughs> but <sighs> listen to the song. The quiet melody restores your powers. You pass the tranquil settlement and go to a crossroads. Looks like some chorts are hiding. Oh. Oh my. Oh wait, I didn't, uh oh. I didn't add my new cards to my deck Rooney. Well, it is what it is.
Oh, he's not attacking for another two turns. Oh, I see. That's okay. Sure, whatevs. I love it. He's gonna be dead, but can I, like, uh. Can I heal a bit? No. <laughs> Whoa! Cards give you sin? Interesting. Hold on. We're known for fishing, but not just angling. Fishing starts before dawn. Men come with nets, fish, and spears. There used to be quite a bit of fish in this river. One time the lads threw insults at a Rusalka because she frightened away all the fish by combing her hair on the stones. She dropped her comb and the lads, fools that they were, picked it up. And wouldn't you know it, their nets tangled up, the fish escaped, and the chief and the crew chief got sick. Some witch talked some sense into them, told them to return the comb. They came back to the same place, put it under a stone, and placed a loaf of bread as an offering with blinds to boot. Next morning, the offering was gone, and wouldn't you know it, so was their chief's ailment. The net started bringing in plenty of fish to sell again. And I took a comb? I know this story, but I took a comb anyway? What a dum-dum. This is so weird. Because like, all of the cards I got from fights before, I just had them. So from here on out, like all of the Aspen Seal cards I have to make, is that how it works? You can answer that. The new cards are in your deck now. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. Good. You reach the factory office. They were expecting you, and you soon meet the manager. Ah, Vasilisa, you're here? Good. Yes, the Lord surely helped me to get here. You could at least have sent some courses to get me. It's not that far away. You really don't know what's been going on? In one village, I had to defeat a fiery snake. In the other village, God knows what's been going on. Demons are cutting the wires. That's all bad news. If I knew beforehand, I would give the coachman some money for vodka. <laughs> they also get scared in the dark. Well, I'm sure it will work out. The main thing right now is to figure out what's been going on here at the factory. What's most important is to go on making salt. I've heard that even before the disappearances, there was something strange going on. People talk. Can you tell me more about it? Ah, let bygones be bygones. There was nothing of this sort. Hmm. No hauntings. The brine went away, so they started talking. It was a long time ago. Nothing to do with the missing men. Besides, the brine is here again. Tale as old as time. Are you ready? 
This dude's been sacrificing his men to some kind of a demon in order to get um in order to get the brine coming back. The brine disappeared because whatever started uh like stopped getting sacrifices. Or it has to do with the mermaid story that we just read and someone took something that they weren't supposed to and so there was no brine and then gave it back and now there's brine but then why are people dying i think it's a sacrifice thing we'll see did anything happen while you were gone oh no everything's fine thank god i feel quite uneasy here at the factory i'm sure it's some kind of demon all right time to get to work Oh. oh, thank you. Oops, sorry. I've arranged a room for you. Rest a bit and get to work. The lads will show you the way. <laughs> Me and Proshka just chilling. Oh. Oops, no, I don't want to play cards. With Proshka? Yeah, I don't want to play cards. Okay, so. Right. If they have a money amount on them, it means that I have to pay money to make them, I guess. Oh, but I can even, I can make any of these? <gasps> Interesting. Oh. Don't I have an able card? I thought I already had one that's like that. Maybe I've just looked longingly at that card so many times now, like, why can't I put it in my neck? That now I keep feeling like I've had it all this time. It's done already. Mahom wants you in his office. Are you a new salt carrier? Oh, I slept. All right. I don't have much time. Don't forget to close the door. I'm literally here to help. What the fuck? Listen, Proshka. Can you see the demons at the factory with those demon eyes of yours? Bah, evil spirits are everywhere. I'm sure we'll meet some at the factory. That doesn't mean we're always the ones to blame. Well, actually, it usually does. That's just the way your Khaldun's tell it. Look at me. I'm kindness and fluffiness itself. True. But before you, I saw countless chorts. But none of them were... <laughs> fluffy, if you will. You just need to get to know them better. Right. Right. How many chorts doing? Nice. Oh, interesting. Okay. Let's, let's do it. The workers that you meet seem to be scared, even in these early hours. You try to start a conversation, 
But as soon as you mention the disappearances, they cross themselves and quickly scurry away. In the factory office, you meet Pahom. Ah, Vasilisa, come. I'll show you the factory. It's quite big. Quite a fortune we have here. Salt, as you see. But you can go anywhere with me. First, we will visit the pump. Alexei used to work there. First stage of salt extraction is getting the brine from the well. Pump is placed above it, along with the protective construction of the tower. Then we will visit the salt. But why would they hire me if they're there. giving a, a sacrifices to a thing? I think someone was a dumb dumb. Maybe it's not a sacrifice thing. You know what? I said tale as old as time. I'm not so sure anymore. This is why it's good to say stuff out loud. Salt oven, the building where evaporation and crystallization we can go occurs. go to the storehouse. A demon was seen there that night. Are you ready to go? Or do you want to ask something? What happened to Alexei in the pump tower? He was the first to disappear. Happened on the first night we struck Brian. He was working then. Haven't heard of him since. Maybe they will tell you something new in the tower. Are you ready to go? Or do you want to ask something? Tell me about Pyotr, who worked in the salt oven. He was gathering salt from the Tsidin that night. Huge pan where the brine is boiled to evaporate water. There wasn't salt. any brine at first, so we started cooking later. They'll tell you more in the salt oven. Yes, I'm a ghostbuster. Are you ready to go? Or do you want to ask something? I'm a what witch, you thank you. Salt box? We tried to track the culprit down. We saw a shadow, but it was foggy that night. Trishka called out to it, and this shadow started thrashing about like a fish. No man moves that way. So these things happen one right after the other. So some kind of a witch demon or or not witch demon, some type of water demon or spirit or chort or something was pulled out of the well and first person went missing. And then was uh, transferred with all of the water to, like, the evaporation area, which is where the second person went missing. And then managed to get out, but is a water creature of some type. And so they saw, that because, like, Proshka told us that, um, you know, normal people will sometimes maybe see a shadow, but that's it, right? So they saw the shadow that was representative of this creature. Um, but he's literally saying like, it didn't, it didn't move around naturally. It moved around like a fish. It was here by the salt box. We load the salt onto barges here. Are you ready to go? Or do you want to ask? I understand. Time for me to go. Let's go, Proshka. Let's go, Proshka. I just like that Proshka's with us. It's fun. <laughs> I don't understand why he's with us, the though. He's a societko. He's supposed to be at home. For you, it seems to hang over the factory, like a watchtower. A steady hiss of the pump is heard from it. Hey, hey, Ivan, come over here. This is our piping master, an expert in drilling. Ah, oh, Baham. Who did you bring? You woke me up, remember? A Noah from Cherdin. She's going to help us find Alexei. So that's why her head is uncovered. Huh, a bareheaded witch. Are you out of your mind? Bringing caldons to the factory. Hey, mind who you're talking to. Show her Alexei's things. But he's bad at it. He's not very good at it. You know, all of this is true. Years, breaking our backs just so you could bring witches around, right? Ooh, I got an achievement called scientist for this. What are you listening to her for? She probably doesn't know anything. I'm literally called a knower, dude. Listen, pretty Calm girl. down. Do you at least know what do we do on this tower? What is this wooden tower used for? For salt extraction, right? They don't cook it, they don't store it. The tower protects the pond that lifts the brine from the well. Hmm. It may be not such a bad idea, but hold. The girl is smart. Oh, she asked a couple of questions before she got here, I see. Well, my mind is made up. I'll bring Alexis things now. The wow. worker brings okay. a bundle in which you find a piece of paper with a clumsy poem written on it. Your fingers are like salt, your eyes deep as water, your hair is black as tar. Oh my god. What's the name of that movie where the the lady boinks a fish man? It's that. It's just gonna be that. Is it a mermaid or a siren? What is it? What's it gonna be? Oh my god. Look at him go. Shape of water, thank you. 
Aquaman, yes, that's the one. Who could he have written this about? Maybe he fell for a salt worker girl. Huh, I doubt it. He'd write something about salty years then. I don't know, he never taught me anything of this sort. Well, I need to work. You need anything else? What can you tell me about the missing guy? What can I tell? A proper lad. And a smart one. Knows his way around the mechanism. Likes to have a drink, the rascal. <laughs> the rascal. Must be drinking with Peter in some pot house. Oh, if I only catch him doing that. They say a demon is carrying enough workers. Seen anything odd? Yeah, a witch walking around the factory. That's what's hot. If you will recall, you decided I was chill. Okay. Now you tell her what she wants. I haven't seen anything, all right? You'll learn for yourself that there aren't no demons here. What was Alexei doing in the pump tower the night he disappeared? I put him there to look after the pump once the brine started flowing. There's nothing else to do there. He must have grown bored and went to the port house. I see. Thanks for the help. So what hmm. do you think happened to Alexei? For now, it's unclear. If it had been Chorts, they would have killed him on the spot. Maybe the girl from the poem knows something. So where did he go missing? In the salt oven? Yes, it's right here, behind the salt box. We will visit it first. Okay. Voodoo eyes. Thank you very much for the gifted subs. On the way to the salt Welcome, oven, everybody. one of the workers calls out to Pahom and starts to question him about the disappearances. While Pahom is busy, you decide to look around. Wide tracks here as if something was dragged. workman's shirt could it be a body was dragged here oh if you click them twice you get new shit since when you see spa looks odd what do you know huge claw marks on the salty log ordinary folk wouldn't notice them right away it looks like a demon's mark the bottom is covered with salt I'm raging against the machine, dude. Okay. Enough already. We need to go and you have work to do. <laughs> Wait. We stopped here for a reason. I noticed claw marks on it. The kind only the demons leave behind. Where? Oh, Jesus Christ. Lord have mercy. I found this piece of shirt by the barrels. Only Alexei had this sword on a pattern on his clothes. I need to look inside. What are you waiting for? Oh, listen, Pahom, don't be angry. We've lost the keys. So break it open. Well, take some logs away then. They've salted through heavily. We need to open it today before demons kill anyone else. Do as you're told while we go visit the salt oven. You remember your visit to the underworld during your initiation. You shudder when you take a peek at the red hot siren. Siren, a huge pan where the brine is boiled and evaporated. Hey, you! Right. Drop that sack! We want to ask <laughs> you about Piotr. Drop that sack! Good day, Master. Did you work with Piotr? What can you tell me about him? Well, I. What can I tell? I, I don't know. He worked hard, we all do. Well, that's it, really. <laughs> what was Piotr doing here? Atherton, really? Cook sold. A strong guy. Was good at hauling the sacks from down below. Now that I think about it, he was quite good at hauling salt. 
You have to have some skill for that. Not a drunkard. Hmm. Have you heard about the demons? Seen anything like that? Yes, I've heard. Lord, protect me. But the Lord is merciful. I haven't seen anything of the sort. Peter used to say that we're here like chorts in hell ourselves. I'll show you chorts. Don't forget who you're talking to. Why are you being so aggro? Oh, forgive me, master. I wasn't thinking. Have you seen anything unusual? Nothing of the sort. We're too busy walking. I've heard that the other day, Petra was saying that he was going to get married. How's that? Oh, yeah. Tabu? Yeah, I thought it strange too. I didn't know anything about him proposing. And here he tells us about this beauty. Black hair, white skin. That's the way he tells it. I think maybe he eloped with her. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. It doesn't look like there are any demons here. I need to... Well, go on. I'll check up on the salt box. You, lad, come with me. Give me a hand. It's getting dark. Hurry up, your workers. The barn stands like a grim giant. The processed salt is stored here before it is loaded onto barges. Suddenly, in the darkness of the parted gates, you notice a fuzzy figure. You look closer and see that the sun has almost gone over the horizon. You draw a circle just oh. in time. A demon emerges from the darkness. Yeah! Let's fight to Hi, Bubblas. Can't use herbs for seven turns. <gasps> it's a paralysis demon on the picture. That's fucked up. Eternal. I'll have to end a little early. <laughs> Sam and Keenan went on an adventure and misjudged the time. <laughs> and he's like, honey. Okay. Yeah, I'll end a little early. Okay. Uh, what are we doing? Uh, do I have a negative status right now? Oh yeah, paralysis. Yeah, let's get rid of that. Beep.
sure. Nice. <laughs> it's like, I think it's gonna die. I think. Welcome to the cat gang. Thank you. Sorry, I'm just figuring out logistics with <laughs> Sam. Uh, equal to enemy status. So when it says curse, I think it means just any curse that you can potentially give them. I think. I think that's what that means when it says when it says curse on it. So if if there's like ten waste on him. Waste is a curse, right? So it'll be 30 damage with sea depth, I think. Do you have any problems with reading Russian words in this game? Oh yeah, absolutely. But fortunately it has full voice acting, so a lot of the words they say out loud. Demon. I'm often called a witch, but this is a first. Open your eyes. What kind of Susyatka takes a Kaldun for a demon? Right, like, I would never know that that's how that's pronounced, but now I do. So you know the demon that's settled in the box? Ooh. Oh, what a life. So you're saying there's a chort in the salt box. Have you seen it? I haven't, but we all can feel it here. It emerged along with the salt. Now it start to eat people. Oh, mm. what a life. Why did you attack me? Was it you who killed the workers? No, no, I'm peaceful spirit. The chort from the salt box killed them. Even the bannocks know what's been going on. Oh, what a life. You look like a Sosietko. What kind of spirit are you? I'm a Susetko. There used to be an Izba here. Its house forgot to bring me along. Then I start living in the barn when it was built. And the things that have been gone on lately. Oh, what a life. I need to go. Oh, it's what a life. What should I do with you? You Even stay on. here. Keep guard in the barn. The demon nods and dissolves into darkness. Why would I kill a Susietko? Ooh, yeah, let's go. He said the Bannocks know what's going on, too. Let's go talk to the Bannocks. You open a door to the factory bathhouse. Inside the old gray building, you feel the presence of evil spirits. You take several steps inside and are immediately surrounded by Bannocks. Not a step closer, demons. Don't be mad, mistress. Stay with us, fellow Bannock. We'll live happily and scare the workers now and then. What? You think I'm an Abdiriha of some kind? What else? We all sensed a new spirit and saw you the other night walking here in the dark, as if looking for your home. Stay here with us. So it looks or like me. Some gifts. That would be nice, Vasnik. Gifts, you say? 
What Bannock? I'm a regular witch. Really? Well... Oh, oh yeah, yeah. That's right. You... You reek of life. Where's the Bannock we saw before then? What did she look like? I might be able to help you. Well, she was pale. Long hair. Just like Bannock. I wouldn't call Bannock's pale. I haven't seen yours, but I'm looking for a spirit too. Point it out to us when you find it. And get out of here. <laughs> this is no place for the living. And also, get the fuck out. <laughs> the spirits disappear and leave you in solitude. All you can do is to go on your way. Interesting. God, there's so many places you can go in this. You approach the riverbank and notice a dark figure. You freeze, thinking of what to do next. This may be the spirit you are looking for, the one to blame for the missing workers. Hmm. The figure jumps at the sound of your voice. It turns out to be a fisherman from the nearest village. Aren't you afraid to go fishing at night? They say there are evil spirits here. Nah, I'm not scared. I have a powerful amulet. With it, I fear no demon. I have seen that evil spirit, though. Go on. What of this amulet? Ah, some woman gave it to me. A fine thing. Can send any chalk packing. Can we agree on the price? I could use an amulet to ward off evil spirits. So, you're afraid of chorts too. Well, why not? Here it is. Have a look. What's he got? Mush. Nice. Ooh, a devil's hoof. Immune to curse? Oh my god, yes, I'll buy that. <laughs> yeah. Yes, please, thank you. Oh, interesting. Replenish nine health, but you take waste. I'll buy another one of these. Um Okay. Cool. That's it, I guess. It is dark now, but the workers are still unable to open the salt box. You see the anxiety in their eyes. Pahom paces around, giving out orders. Seems like he is worried more than the others. A break herb? Nice. Demonic sorcery. Breaker can help open it. Work of a demon. Workers are trying to break down the door, but someone seems to be holding it fast from the other side. Hold this here. Come on. He. I think I know how to open this door, and I think I know what kind of demon haunts you. What evil spirits are to blame for the salt walkers' disappearances? I mean, I think it's a mermaid. <laughs> they said it was a bannock, though. What was Vodianoi? Oh, Lord. Saltern was established in the 16th century. Throughout the centuries, table salt was an object of trade, a source of wealth, and a means to replenish the state coffers. It was worth its weight in gold and was often the cause of civil unrest. Salt brine was extracted from a well with a brine pipe. The pipe consisted of a single unit, a thick hollowed out tree several sazens long with a tub that passed through the middle, lifting the brine. They were coated in tar, wrapped in canvas, coated again, encased in yarn, and then coated once more. The drilling was slow. Six vershoks could be extracted in one day if the ground was soft. If it was hard and rocky, just one vershok could be extracted. Salt ovens, large four-walled izba, with one door and an opening in the roof of the chimney were placed near the brine pipes in the middle of the salt 
In the middle of the salt oven, a hole was dug for four zazens deep from the furnace. It had steep sides and was reinforced with gray stone and clay. An orifice to act as a drought hole was made in front of the hole. Above the hole hung a siren, a large pan, a siren. Oh my god, I can't remember how they pronounced it. It took considerable skill to properly adjust the heat so that the brine boiled evenly and let the salt settle like a hard candy, adding brine to the, at the right time and mixing it with iron spatulas. The resulting salt was deposited into bast sacks and stored in barns. Okay, so... Mermaid's comb. And the Bannocks think that it's an Obderija. Did they describe what the mermaid looked like we're gonna try your workers have been discussing some beauty one of them even wanted to marry her until she I think killed him looks like there's a water spirit in the salt box oh Jesus Christ as soon as we break down this door, I'll show that evil spirit Russian strength. Wait, I will whisper over the door. Step aside. Let the witch do her business. He has really come around when it comes to us, dude. You mouth the words of a Zagavar and apply the break herb. The door to the salt box opens. He was like, I don't know why we gotta be having witches up in here. This is a mistake. We do our business. Why'd you bring a witch? And then I was like, I know some salt stuff. And he was like, damn, she's fucking smart. She's got brains and beauty. Let her stick around. And now he's yelling at everybody else, like, get out of her way. She's a queen. <laughs> Incredible. What a, what a story arc. Oh no. Oh no. Hello. Hi, sweetheart. Do you want to be an Obderica? Right. There's a Rusalka in the salt box. With a quick motion, you draw a circle and plan your next move. Um, I need her to open up the next part of my book. So. So. Ruckus. The moon isn't up yet. God, so many dead. Dead? Girl, they just sleeping. Because the moon isn't up yet. What kind of sleep is she talking about? I smell death all the way from here. Oh, if you insist, I can wake up my friends. No, wait. Tell me first. Why are you here, demon? I was sent by my father, the Vodinoi. I think he wanted me to find new friends. We'll be very close, forever and ever. Just like a fur and its little branches. Am I right, boys? The corpses steadily sway in the brine. Yike. Why? What for? Why did you kill all of these workers? Killed? <laughs> They're alive. Alive forever. Why did the brine disappear in the factory? Why did it reappear? These salt workers are lucky to have a friend as kind as I am. I give them life, love and wealth. What more could you wish for? To not to be drowned in brine? I knew you wouldn't understand. What kind of demon are you anyway? That reminds me. I need to break a water seal. Your soul could prove useful. Oh, what a pity. And I wanted to propose eternal life to you. You are very sweet. I think you and I are quite alike. You pull out a comb that you found by the river on your way to the factory. That's right. 
We are alike. Even our comms are identical. Where did you get that witch? I'll pry this comb from your dead hands. What the fuck? Why did I do that? <laughs> I'm just trying to start shit now. Summons evil spirits, right? Of course. All minions disappear when this demon dies. Okay. Tight. Fuck! Oh no! Uh, well. <laughs> are these are these the boys? That's too bad. We'll see. Yearning orders? What does that mean? Decreases the number of orders you can read in your turn. Well, that's wooed. I got a lot of shit going on here, so. I don't know, we'll see. Oh my god. Decomposure. Uh, increases waste on turn start by three. Oh, but I have no waste, so does this not do anything, I guess? God, should I just attack her? find out. <laughs> oh my god, I have so many things going on now. <laughs> Did 
decreases the number of orders you can read, right? I really need to get rid of that guy. away from the amount of damage it's gonna do but oh he's putting waste on me actually uh, sure woof Oh my god, so many things just vanished on me. <laughs> Shit. Been a long time viewer since 2010. Oh my goodness. Hello. Welcome. Um, maybe we should work in some other stuff. Maybe we should put in some, uh... I want that. Hold up, let's see. I wish that wasn't 11 years ago, but dang, that's 11 years ago. I know. Wild. I'm also a longtime viewer who isn't around much. Yo, like I've said before, if you at some point, look, if you step away and life is happening and it's coming at you fast and years down the road, you're like, I wonder if Dodger's doing a thing. And you swing by to say, hey, that's so lovely. You don't gotta be around here all the time for me to appreciate you coming by to say what's up. It's very wonderful. Thank you guys. Uh, so we've got some cards that are like, yeah, like this sort of shit. Attack everything sort of stuff. Also, I feel like we can put some more, some more of these in here, but they won't let me. Feels kind of like a waste. I would rather have more key tongues than have that, I think. Um. Okay, let's try some stuff like that. A share called the Devil's Stone. On Pentecost, Arsaka lies on it, brushes her long hair, and moans, Pharaoh, Pharaoh. Her hair continuously drips water. They say that Kuldoons collect that water and use it to curse men and livestock. Pharaoh is a kind of Satan, as written in the Bible. It is said that he became a kind of Vodianoi and that his daughters were Rusalkas. The Rusalka calls for her father. Interesting. Okay. Sorry. Okie dokie, artichokey. Ooh, yeah. But I want this. But I want this. I'm sorry, everyone.
Okay. Oh, I should have used Proshka. It's okay. I hate that I'm coming into this with 10 fucking health. What a nightmare. Ten health in a dream, you know. I got Healy cards, I just need to find them. And then use them accordingly, you know. Give myself some regen. And then a couple Navas. Oh shit, again. I did it again. <laughs> Fuck. It's fine, he's just putting waste on me, it's okay. <laughs> Never mind. Why do I keep thinking that's different from what it is? Oh, it does damage and waste. That's why. Well, ain't that some shit. she gets hit she goes like this like to grab her hair like oh but let me fix my hair real fast how rude bothering me and my sword walk of friends don't fret this won't take long wow you are more confident than i am bussy lisa <laughs> that's pretty fucking confident goddamn
Oops, that's not what I wanted to do, actually. I wanted to put waste on him. Because that way... This will be worth more now, right? It's supposed to be. Maybe it was already applied? Now oh, it's 16. Oh, uh, whatever. I'm just gonna do my best, I guess. I hate it. There's no way. This is rough. Yeah, going in with 10 health really sucks. Can I use these now? Oh, never mind. Hold on. Where is this, do you think? I don't want to do that if it's... I've gotten this yet. Anything that only does one thing should maybe just be taken out. Even waste. Maybe waste should just be left out. Hmm. 
No, I don't want to skip the battle, but thank you. Sam is getting her. We're good. Okay. Oops. Well. Nice. Oh my god, if I had actually put waste on this dude, it would have done something. Uh oh. Well, those happened in a different order than I expected. Okay. No, thank you. Send me good witch vibes, please. I could use those. Oh, never mind. Thank you, Kyla. I appreciate it. Oh, man. <laughs>
He gives me 10. So I can protect from 20 of this. But I am taking shit, which sucks. Uh. It was all blocked? That's how we do out here. <laughs> Remove status curse. So curse is a specific status. Or no? Yeah, curse is specific. Okay. Under two hundred now, so that's good. <laughs> oh, sorry. Let's go. Nice. Oh, fuck. I'm dead, though. I didn't die. This won't take long. I didn't die. What a delight. Doesn't affect masters. <sighs> I don't think there's anything I can do. This fight is hard. 
I guess I'll try it one more time, but like, I'm going into it with 10 health! It sucks. Which one is it that applies waste? Oh, it is this. Is Hades shorter fights? Deck builders be like this sometimes, you know. Oh my gosh, 85 months. I have to cancel my subscription. I'm sorry, but know that I still love and admire you. Thank you so much. 85 months. You don't gotta put a sorry in there at all. Goodness gracious, much more than I even deserve. Thank you so much. Hopefully you'll still be able to keep watching. If not, I hope life's treating you good. felt very stressed at the start of that message, Baker. <laughs> Your message starts off with, that was a big lie. And I was like, what? I lied? I lied? When? When did I lie? <laughs> it wound up being a sweet message. Thank you. <laughs> it's like, what? What do you mean? Nice. Nice. Okay, so that's already happening, cool. I'm gonna get away from my waist. And hopefully kill this boy real quick. Arnar, thank you so much for the gifted subs. Get hecky Becky. How old is Clark now? She is three, almost three and a half. Life comes at you fast. 
<laughs> How rude. But don't fret. Oh my gosh, I guess I'm just gonna take this damage. I know, time flies. She's at preschool right now. <laughs> Shit's wacky. Okay, now she's gonna summon a new dude. we go under a hundred let's fucking go <gasps> she's gonna oh that's annoying Well, <laughs> y'all took damage. You goofballs. Oof. He's... So I just need to live through 28 damage. I currently have. So I'll be at twenty eight so far. Goodness gracious, we'll see.
about that. I've bitten bigger foes. What's this? I'll heal for seven. I'll get... All right, let's see how this goes. damage but at the start of my turn I take how much just one fuck but I'm regening for six God, what a fucking awful fight, dude. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I better have fucking leveled up. Are you Damn kidding me? Witch. You won't get me with your foul sorcery. My father protects me. And without me, there won't be salt or eternal life. The Rusalka dives into the brine and disappears. The drowners crumple lifelessly. Seemingly intent on staying dead this time. Silence is all around you. Okay. You hear the sounds of a door opening behind you. Pahom found the courage to get the salt box. He's holding an icon. Let God arise and his foes vanish. That's it. I've banished the Rusalka. Oh, thank God. Thank you, Vasilisa. Too early to celebrate. She's gone, but she took all the brine with her. <sighs> get the horses ready. We need all Yegor's advice. Well, what are you waiting for? Be quick about it. We need to hurry. Oh, right this moment. Oh, right this moment. Yes, right this moment. Hmm. 
The other day, I met that woman who sells sweets. Remember her? She got a hernia this big, <laughs> half the size of her face. Yegor. <laughs> Tell me what happened next. How did you become a Khaldun? Right then. So I'm holding this head. The chord strangled Prokopi and wanted the head back. And it was exchanged to him, mind you. So he needed to give something to me in return. I figured that one out, young as I was. So I think, what to ask for? Some money? A fancy shirt? So I figured, if I wanted to be a knower, I should think for myself. Bring me, I tell him, the black book. I'll trade it for your hat. They all disappeared, and I'm standing in the circle, waiting. The fiend was gone for a while. Returned only at dawn, all covered in stretches. It wasn't easy for him to get it, but he did bring back the book. Mm. It was sealed in Sukharev Tower. It was. For how long? No one knows. So, that's how I obtained it and became a Nova. All by myself, as you see. Why can people see demons? Who knows? That's for <laughs> I wish that decide. that's all that he said. Only Who knows? The see demons. Okay. Nice. Nice. <laughs> These poor chorts are like, what the fuck? Give us something fun to do, bitch. I wanted to change one card with a trump one. Increase the number of keys in your Zagavor. <gasps> oh, you automatically win that at 19. At 19? Okay. <laughs> All right. Come in, Pachom. We need to think about what to do next. You share the events at the factory. She even escaped your Zagavars. <laughs> Only powerful evil spirits are able to do that. I think someone is protecting her. This demon scared the entire factory. Even after you chased her away, the haunting continues. Some workers saw shadows in the barn. God damn them. But what should we do next? Can't we get the brine back? We can think of something. We also need the water demons. That Rosalka mentioned her father. Who could she be talking about? Rosalka? Christ almighty, God help us. She mentioned her father? Well, it's clear to me. The Vodinoi becomes father to all evil spirits of the water. Vakul is the one we need to go to. Master spirits of different bodies of water. All the water spirits are subject to them. Oh, Vodjanoi. Oh, the we've seen that word. The salt grows pale. Vakul? So the Vodjanoi has something to do with it. What did you think? You may not have dealt with him with your factory, but maybe you should have. Millers, for instance, all deal with him. At the factory... I was doing fine with the Vaginoi that I had. Whether you were or not, the small Vaginois are gone. This one has outsmarted them and now rules everywhere. The small ones all went into hiding and you can't find them now. You can meet him in Hell's Lake. Pachom, go back. You can't do anything now. And you, Vasilisa, get going. Got it? What do you know about the Vodinoi? A powerful chort, and an old one. People say he was here before Christ, and remembers the old times. He has an underwater palace, but he may speak to you on the lake. 
Hmm. Will you break the seal for me? Try to convince him. I told you, you won't find any other Vodinois here. He is hard to convince, though. And I don't know if you'll be able to take him into battle. You're still weak. I can't believe this. I've been a witch for like two weeks now, so. What kind of lake is that? The Permians call it Vatti. It means swampy lake. It's deep. One chort tried to measure it and lost a rope. The Russians renamed it after the hunting started. If you ask me, Hell's Lake is quite a fitting name. I see. I'll get ready. Well, be careful out there with him. If you strike a bargain with him, stick to it. If something goes wrong, don't panic. You have your black book. God be with you. God be with you. God be with you. You sweet, stupid girl. Yay! Exit. That's it. Now I must, and now I must leave. And now I must leave you. My lips are getting all chapped. Here it is. We got it. <laughs> the watermelon oolong tea, cold and oversteeped, still slaps. I'm glad you like it. I really like the watermelon oolong a lot. That's a little better. I just started using that lip balm. I love it. You can get it. You can get it in packs of twenty. I was gonna say that's not true, but it might be true. I bought it in a pack of two. <laughs> okay, let me read off the activity feed. Let's get our channel point stuff open. I know I didn't do a BSL break today. I'm very sorry. A Basel break, if you will. We had a Valentine. It's from three days ago. <laughs> you know what? I'll read it anyway. I'll still give the points back, but I'll read it anyway. Because it says, hey, you. Yeah, you. You're great. So there you go. It's a good message. Very heartwarming. Okay, who is this? Are they still streaming? Let's see. They are. Oh, playing It Takes Two. Nice, hell yeah. Okie dokie. So we're going to go say hi to them first. <gasps> Was Joe in here? Anyways, sorry. Let me go back. Let me go back. <laughs> Five hours ago. Ash Fair, thank you for the 14 months. Stomach for the 75. Chiyuku for the 63. Milkman Art for the 7. Barbecue Head for the 83. Rebecca Neko for the 61. The Trent for the 16. I Am Not 2D for the 82. Zenzia for the 53. Avita for the gifted sub. Jossum for the 17. Lunali for the 3. Canadian Earth for the 17. Magic Snowcat for the 8. Baker Base for the 40. Mossy Kitty Cat for the 26. Hoofster for the 7. Jenks Me for the 19. Beard Acknowledge for the 5 years. Happy anniversary. Thank you very much for the support. Uh, Zane Pathos for the 5. An anonymous gifter gifted a sub. Thank you very much, whoever that was. Redskin, thank you for the 31. Mr. Squishy for the 17. Rabbit Cannon, again, welcome to the cat gang. Thank you so much. Chili Roo, thank you for the 4. Dane 1 for the 32. Adam for the 16. Enzo for the 3. Yandere Lover for the gifted sub. Leandro for the gifted sub. Maddie MS and Trask for gifted subs. Thank you so much. Apra for the 38. Sayeth for the 8. Sheer Games for the 3. Not Loki for the gifted subs. Shoujo Girl for the 9. Happy Twitch, baby. Lowy for the 43, Joe Fudge for the 22, Watcher for the 80, Separat for the 30, Maltzy for the 46, MZV for the 4, Chris Eliana for the 42, Zerg Jerk for the gifted sub, Fatal the Baptist for the 4 years. 
Happy anniversary. Thank you very much. Voodoo Eyes, thank you very much for the gifted subs. Assert Failure for the 88. Anon Giles for the four years. Happy anniversary. Thank you, thank you. Um, Nysa, welcome to the Cat Gang. Thank you so much for subscribing. Melodic Master, thank you for the gifted subs. Dr. John for the 54. Michael L8 for the 81. SP Wolf Tech for the 57. Serenoid for the 85. Arnar for the gifted sub, smart guy for the 71, Eric for the 43, Dor Lucas for uh, the 52, and Mommy Dearest, thank you very much for uh, subscribing for six months all at once. Thank you very, very much. Appreciate it, guys. Um, thank you. Thank you for hanging out, for watching, uh, lurking, chatting, subbing, resubbing, whatever it was. Uh, if you even just swung by to say hi before going to work that's very sweet i appreciate that i'm in your thoughts at all um so normally we would do manga pod tonight i had a week that was a lot and i forgot to read so uh the team has agreed to push it to early next week so we'll we're planning to have two manga pods next week so we'll see how that goes um but i'm gonna chill and try to catch up on some sleep because I didn't really sleep last night because of my sweet babu. But hopefully she had a fantastic day at school and will sleep well. Fingies crossed. Uh, all right. So it's Natashafts is who we're rating. Uh, send them some love. They're playing It Takes Two, which Sam and I really enjoyed. Um, next time that I stream will be tomorrow for Saturday Morning Dooger. So if you want to tune into that, I'll just be hanging out, drinking some coffee, and talking about life. Okay? Thank you all very much. Take care of yourselves, and bye-bye.